ain't gonna do it They ain't made for it what? what they mission is the path been paid for yeah. That's why he hit him top, top. like he belong there yeah. And when he take it off, it's like he own air oh. He's trying to hide down, yeah. like the birds do yeah. It's all over with style, that's why I know the view Don't forget the name, hey. the game is his to claim yeah. We're rich in DNA, we about to change the thing Gentlemen, good afternoon. Dogs need that kind of toughness in every game in this league. Uh, your emotions are as sky high as they ever will be. It's not just another game. And he's a big play kind of guy. A terrific day of football ahead. This is the Napa Tailgate Show. And the fans are ready for it. Take out your Richter scales because Georgia is going to run out of the tunnel. On the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Welcome to the Napa Auto Parts Tailgate Show. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. The Napa Auto Parts Tailgate Show is brought to you in part by Kroger. Fresh for everyone. Georgia's own credit union. Banking on purpose. Georgia Farm Bureau. Always the home team. And by Georgia United Credit Union. Score your official Bulldogs debit card today at GUCU.org slash go dogs. Now to the Scana Energy Stage. Here's Neil Hondo Williamson. Dogs are moving nicely here from hangs one up over the corner. Oh, he drops it in the bucket. Pickens makes the catch. Touchdown. He got inside the pylon far corner. It'd be a gross understatement to call the 2020 offseason unorthodox and seemingly interminable. But today, finally, it's the SEC's turn to return to the intimately interpersonal sport of intercollegiate football. And for Georgia fans, that means the mean machine in red and black is back and the slobber knocking cranks up at 4 o'clock here in Arkansas. Of course, this game is so important because it's the first game. It's the, the game that we get a chance to show our identity, showing what Georgia football is going to be for this 2020 season. That's Georgia receiver Kiaris Jackson. Hello, Bulldog Nation from the Scanna Press Box in Reynolds Razorback Stadium. This is Neil Hondo Williamson. Today it's the Dogs versus the Hogs. Scott Howard, Eric Zier, Chuck Dowdle will bring you the play-by-play and analysis of fourth-ranked UGA against the Arkansas Razorbacks. It's the first of 10 consecutive conference-only opponents on the slate for our Dogs in 2020. And joining me for our Napa Tailgate show are Scott Eric and the venerable Dean of Georgia Sports, Lauren Smith. And my friends, I'm delighted to see you all again for a long while there. Our our broadcasts were touch and go. Well, it's finally a bona fide go, but no, no, no touching. I think they're always touch and go, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> this is just a different, a different method of touch and go. Yes, yes, it is. Well, you know, I mean, you guys just tell me how was your off season and thoughts about all this craziness we've been experiencing, but we are here. I mean, we're looking out on the field right there, and there's that big Razorback right on the 50-yard line and a beautiful, beautiful stadium, and, and excited, Scott. Yeah, uh, it's it's great to see that uh, that big 20-yard hog from the 40 to the 40 uh, because we know that, that football just right around the corner. Uh, it was it was kind of a long time in coming to, to get to this point for, uh, for everybody involved, and, and uh, I'm just glad that, we're able to be here and uh, and bring this to you in in about three hours or so. It's a uh, it's exciting. It's a beautiful day in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, they've been practicing the piped in noise, so uh, you know it gives you a little ambiance, gives you a little feel of of stadium atmosphere. Won't be a lot of folks in here today, but uh, we can work with that. We're going to have a game. Yeah, a, a little taste of normalcy in a year that's been anything but normal. Uh, even driving into the stadium this morning, typically it is just packed with tailgaters, and you see Georgia fans that have made the trip, and and obviously all the all all of the Arkansas faithful would have typically been out here. We drove in with uh, not one person in sight, so a pretty easy trip into the into the stadium. But you get up here, get up here into the booth, and get around each other you look down at the field and uh, you hear the crowd noise getting piped in it's starting to feel a little bit normal and that will get more normal too as the players get to the stadium and roll onto the field all i know is that we are uh, on the verge here of sec football and watching our dogs roll i don't think we should begin the leadership that came from greg thank you the commissioner uh, the presidents, the SEC presidents, I know Jerry Moorhead of Georgia was one of the strongest advocates. We're going to play if we can. 
The athletic directors all took that stance, didn't make a knee-jerk decision, which I think we can say is appropriate for the decision-making of the Big Ten and the Pac-12. So our presidents, Greg Sankey, our commissioner, and our athletic directors deserve a pat on the back. We wouldn't be here, I don't think, if they had not taken the leadership stance that they took. Yeah, agreed, Lauren, indeed. T'was a crazy offseason. It got even crazier about three weeks ago when the Dogs presumed starting quarterback, Jamie Newman, stunned the team by opting out. With the rotation we had going, it probably didn't impact us as much as it would have had he been there the entire time. You know, we had mini camp days, I call them, one through, I think, 10 or one through 11, that he wasn't able to go in um, throughout the first half of those. The, the later part is when he got there. So we were able to give those reps to other guys, um, and we're probably fortunate that it happened when it happened in terms of trying to get a guy ready because if it had gone you know, up until this point or even later, I can't imagine where we would be. And Kirby trying to uh, take the positive route there, I think, because, <laughs> Neil, as you pointed out, it was still a stunner. It was still a shocker when he – uh, when Newman backed out, uh, he enrolled in uh, Georgia in January uh, of this calendar year. Uh, you know, all intents and purposes, uh, he was going to come in and, and win the starting job and be our quarterback here as, as uh, we were getting ready to uh, prepare for the season in the off season. But that all changed. There was no spring practice. Off-season workouts were very different. Got through the summer. We even started uh, camp in, in August. He was still with the group. And then in September, something changed uh, in his mind, uh, and he opted out. And, uh, you know, no Georgia football. He did all his work at Wake Forest previously, but it, it kind of left Georgia, I don't want to say scrambling, but in the lurch a little bit uh, for an experienced quarterback because all of a sudden you don't really have that anymore. You do have JT Daniels who has uh, a, a year's worth of experience at Southern Cal, but he's got a knee problem that he's trying to overcome. Uh, is he available? Uh, or not, you know, he hadn't been cleared as of today. So uh, Georgia's quarterback situation was kind of left scrambling. Yeah, but credit Kirby Smart and, and this Georgia staff. You go back to last year, we had Jake Fromm and then really nobody else. Stetson Bennett obviously came in and uh, was, was able to be there in relief uh, as needed. He returns this year as well. But we went from the cupboard being completely bare to in one off season, you bring Jamie Newman in. Obviously, he's not here anymore, but you don't take your foot off the gas and you go get JT Daniels. Obviously, you just mentioned he hasn't been been cleared yet, but you do bring some experience at least into the meeting room that that even last year you didn't have outside of Jake Fromm. So you bring him in. You continue to develop Dwan Mathis. You go out and get a Carson Beck. So all of a sudden, that that unit went from being just one guy and then a you're completely dropping off the ledge uh to now we've we've got a handful of guys that can come out and compete uh on the biggest stage in co college athletics and you feel pretty good about it we'll see who the guy is coming out today obviously if jt daniels isn't clear probably going to be Dwan mathis but all the reports we continue to hear is that one Dwan Mathis is is looking very good. He's put on some weight coming off of uh, uh, surgery where he had a cyst on his brain removed. Uh, he, he's developing very well, very athletic, throwing the football well. JT Daniels, nearly 3,000 yards throwing the football uh, on the college level at USC. So as he gets cleared, all of a sudden you've got now depth in that room where you didn't have it last year. So even with Jamie Newman leaving, you look at this unit, we are a better collective unit right now than we were last year. Now just need one individual to step up, take the leadership reins on this football team, and, boy, they're going to have a ton of talent around them regardless of who it is. Well, Georgia's going to rely on four scholarship quarterbacks who have taken a grand total among them of one SEC snap. Still, Coach Smart has confidence in his quarterback room. I think he's done a great job preparing, and, and so has Carson Stetson and JT. They, they really all have done a good job preparing for this moment and I feel comfortable with all those guys. Z, uh, no secret who we think is going to be the starter today for Georgia. Yeah, it, you think it's going to be Dwan Mathis, obviously, with uh, with Daniels not being cleared and, and the, every report that you've got right now, he's going to be the guy. Scott, let's pretend for a moment that whoever gets the call doesn't move the team in the early going. How many series can Coach Smart keep waiting for the magic to kin, kick in before he needs to make a change? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> That's a good question. We'll see how patient he is. Um, you know, I did ask him this week, could we see multiple guys at that position? 
Uh, that's kind of how I left the question. I, I didn't give him any scenarios. Uh, his answer to me was anything is possible. So, again, leave him guessing. Uh, and I, I think that's what he's going to do for, you know, the opposition today. Uh, that's kind of what he's done for us in our situation. Um, so, so, I don't know. I don't know how long he would wait, um, you know, unless they see something that is just drastically different from what they've seen to this point, whoever's at the, at the quarterback spot, uh, and it's, uh, they think there's something that's not functioning properly there, then they might pull the trigger. Otherwise, uh, you know, I, I think they, they leave him on the mound, so to speak, uh-huh. let the kinks get worked out. Listen, back in the spring when COVID first hit, uh, even before that, winter months, Todd Monken was in the projection room uh, with the uh, with the computer. Uh, he's been at it all summer. Uh, COVID gave him a little more time even to devote to film study. They have been working overtime, and they talk about these situations. It's not just something that's going to be a hunch or operate by the seat of your pants. They have, they go through scenarios, what if, what if, what if, and I think the best decision that can be made will be made uh, based on constant due diligence and over time assessing, evaluating, studying tape. I, I think that's right, Lauren. This coaching staff is ultimately prepared, and they have been prepared, and they've gone through all of the mental gymnastics that you have to do to get a football team ready. Uh, what you don't know right now, and this is true for every offense across the country with the disruptions that we've that, that we've had, uh, to have the luxury to be able to go in and fall back on a defense that is a defense that can win SEC championships, that can win national championships, to have a running game with the running backs that, that we have to where you can come in and really tiptoe into the season offensively, not put everything on a young, inexperienced quarterback, whomever it may be, in a brand-new offense, to be able to go back and do some of those things, the basic 101s of, of football, when you've got enough manpower to win football games, that has to make you feel comfortable where you can ease into the season, ease into this new offensive scheme, and take whoever it is that's going to be pulling the trigger long term, give them time to really ramp up and, and play at a very high level. Well, Lauren brought up the uh, the Todd Munkin uh, advent here to our team. We have Matt Lucas come in to coach the offensive line. We have a new uh, um, special teams coordinator and Scott Cochran. And Eric, let's talk about the air raid offense quickly here. It's brand new for Georgia. Uh, what should Georgia fans look forward to, and how will the dogs attack appear different to the naked eye? Yeah, so probably not much difference just in terms, in terms of personnel groupings uh, and, and formations. Air raid offense is a lot of three receiver, four receiver sets. We've done that. Uh, in the past, and, and honestly, I, I don't think early on in this season there are going to be a lot of different changes just in terms of, of passing routes and schemes. The air raid offense, it's really about playing basketball on grass. You want to get athletes in space, utilize a lot of quick passing games, things of that nature. The true air raid offense, if you think about the how Mummy offenses and the Leech offenses, uh, you are throwing two passes to set up a third pass. We're going to be a little bit different than that. Uh, the New England Patriots, some of the pro offenses that have, have adopted schemes of the air raid offense, that's really what Georgia's going to look like. We just run the football too well to go completely away from running the football. So the, the quick passing games, crossing routes, uh, getting guys into space, I think we're going to go see a lot of that. So there's going to be parts of the air raid offense we're going to implement into an offense that wants to be ground and pound, run the football, outman your opponent. Uh, it, it's something that and it has been the blueprint over the past five years that's put us up onto the national stage. I don't think we ever get away completely from that, but you're going to have elements of this air raid offense that get incorporated into the passing game that can make us very, very dangerous over time. On the other side of the ball, Georgia returns eight starters to a defense, 36 players who played at least 100 snaps last year on a terrorizing defense and uh lauren what's not to like about our defense that that's a that's quite a return that's quite a haul that's come back well the only thing that bothers me is that sometimes what you think your best that turns out not to be the case <laughs> that has happened uh, because you're certainly going to make your opponents pay attention everybody is saying how great the defense are you know the offensive coordinators are revving up to try to see if they can uh, counter that, but uh, I think that Kirby uh, earned his spurs as a defensive uh, coach, 
Uh, defense is very important to him, and I have never known a great coach. I mean, I have talked to Bud Wilkinson. I have talked to David Doherty. I've talked to coaches forever, and they all say you win with defense. So I feel good because I think if you play good defense, you got a chance. Well, this team played tremendous defense last year, guys. As you know, it was – the leading defense in the nation in points allowed. It was the leading defense in the nation uh, in rushing yards allowed. Uh, and I don't I don't see that changing a whole lot this year. You've got most of those guys back in the two deep. Uh, they've added some uh, some some quality and some talent in, in uh, the incoming freshmen. Uh, you know, I, I think we see more terrific defense from this Georgia team in our 10-game schedule, and, and I think it starts today. Arkansas is under new leadership in 2020. The Razorbacks pilfered Dogs offensive line coach Sam Pittman last winter. Now Sam will try to reverse an ugly trend of two consecutive winless SEC seasons by the Hogs. Kickoff today is at 401. We're ecstatic to be back with you here on the radio. This is the Napa Tailgate Show. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. Tony Schiavone is our producer engineer. Zach Jewell is our studio producer. Chris Schiavone assists in our Scanner broadcast booth. Georgia football is back, and we'll be back in two minutes on the Bulldog Sports Network. With thousands of locally owned Napa stores across the nation, chances are that wherever you call home, we do too. And that's why you can find us in big cities, small towns, and everywhere in between, doing what we've always done to help keep our local communities moving forward. So whether you stop by a Napa Auto Parts store, Auto Care Center, or visit us at Napa Online, you can count on Napa know-how. Hey, dog fans, Coach Kirby Smart here. Do you have a game plan for flu season? Get ahead of the competition by getting a flu shot at Piedmont. It's the smart thing to do. Stop by any Piedmont primary care, quick care, or urgent care location and stay healthy all season long. Visit piedmont.org slash UGA to learn more and book online. Piedmont Healthcare, more ways to better. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Divorce was never part of our picture, but now it is. And I have so many questions. Will I keep my home? What will happen to my retirement? Where are the kids going to live? This is Lee Merriweather. At Merriweather and Tharp, we know you have questions. That's why we have answers to common divorce questions through our website, podcasts, and a free phone consultation with one of our attorneys. This is Bob Tharp. Now there's one place to find the answers you need. Merriweather and Tharp with offices throughout Atlanta, helping clients through difficult times. 1545 Peachtree Street, 678-879-9000. Merriweather and Tharp, the Atlanta Divorce Team. Team.com. And now a game of commercial chicken brought to you by Progressive, where we see how long flow can go without talking about insurance. Ready? Go. So traffic has been crazy lately, right? And rush hour? Forget it. Nobody wants to let you merge onto the highway. <laughs> but hey, somebody let you merge or you wouldn't be there. So drivers who switch to Progressive could say big. Okay, you win. We can't help but save customers money. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. It's game day, and the dogs are ready to eat. And it is caught! Touchdown! Money top! Let's rejoin the Napa Tailgate Show. All right, here we go. 58 seconds in the ball game. Georgia by six. Notre Dame with a fourth and eight and a half for the Georgia 38. Snap to book. Pressure. He rolls. He scrambles. He's backpedaling. He's back on his 42. We're chasing. He hangs it up in the air. And it is incomplete. Batted down at the 10. Batted down at the 10 by DJ Daniel. Boy, we had a vicious rush. Chased Book all the way back to his own 40. And he just tried to sling it downfield. And the dog's defense has given Notre Dame its last right. Seems so long ago now, doesn't it? Notre Dame between the hedges last September. The 2020 season opener has finally arrived with a 401 kick today between number four Georgia and Arkansas. We want you to stay tuned for three exclusive interviews with Coach Smart between now and then, right here on your Napa Tailgate Show. And right now, here's our Lauren Smith. Lauren? 
Well, it's always nice to talk to Todd Peterson. He's one of our outstanding student athletes. Uh, what motivated you to be an outstanding student as well as a place kicker? Well, Lauren, I think, you know, I, I didn't anticipate playing pro football. For those who know much of my story, they know that I was at the Naval Academy and transferred back to Georgia and so had some academic inclination and decided that I wanted to go to the business school and ultimately to law school and just I think was thinking that you know football was going to be a ton of fun in college and I wanted to be the best I could you know at it and and be a great kicker for Georgia and the storied tradition of as you and I know kicker you but the the prospects of playing pro football were not uh, you know necessarily on my immediate horizon and I think I just knew God had given me a brain and I needed to use it and do my best in the classroom the way I, I tried to do, you know, my best on the field. So. Well, you've done really well in business and uh, we congratulate you on that. In 1992 against Arkansas and Fayetteville, you had two key field goals and an important Georgia win. But in, at that time, Arkansas was new in the SEC and that was a little departure. Uh, from Norm. What were the players' thoughts about traveling and playing Arkansas? You know, I, I think that we thought they were a little bit of an unknown quantity for exactly the reasons you say. They they weren't, you know, they hadn't been in the SEC. Obviously, we had our annual opponents and, and kind of rivalry games and, and kind of knew the SEC up and down and inside out. And and to have them kind of thrust into the, the SEC, and, and of course, we know you know, A&M and, and so on and so forth. You know, I think we were all trying to figure out who are these guys. And, and clearly Arkansas has had a, a great, you know, reputation as a, as a college football program. And, and to go down there, I, I just remember the, the environment. It was beautiful. We stayed at these uh, condos outside uh, uh, there at some like golf resort, if I remember right. And I just, it was kind of my first exposure to the to the um to that terrain and those you know foothills and it was fall and leaves and all that and then you got on you know uh on uh you know uh the stadium you know site and and they love their football but uh, we went down there and put it to them and and it was a fun game for me like you said had a couple big field goals i think i hit five or six kickoffs into the end zone and it was a lot of fun to go down there and beat them up now, when you were moving around the uh, NFL a time or two with the several teams you played, you wound up in Atlanta. Was that a little bit of a homecoming? It was for sure. I, I uh, have a mother-in-law who's a great lady, and from the day I got drafted until the day I quit playing, she was on me about, come to Atlanta, play in Atlanta. Why can't you just tell the Falcons to sign you? And, you know, the reality <laughs> is that, uh, you know, when you're a free agent, the team you want to play for doesn't need you a lot of the time. And when the team you want to play for needs you a lot of the time, you're not a free agent, but thankfully there at the tail end of my career, I had the privilege and opportunity to, to be in free agency and to sign with the Falcons. And it, it was just an absolute blast to come home and my kids were old enough to appreciate it. And, and uh, obviously a blessing to my wife and, and family to, to kind of get to, to play and finish, you know, and, and, you know, establish, you know, roots back in, back in Georgia. We, we were gone so long in Seattle and Kansas city and San Fran over that 10 or 11 years to get to come home was really fun. Well, it was great to see you at the Athens touchdown club recently, Mike Ushery, former Georgia quarterback, president of the Athens touchdown club and the club honored you uh, with its flashback, uh, Ward, great to see you, great to have you, and I think nobody would have thought on that trip to Arkansas that someday the conference would expand and have Missouri, Texas A&M. It's just been an interesting development since Arkansas was the first to make the move to get the SEC to expand. Todd Peterson, now living in Atlanta, thank you, and go dogs. All right, thank you, Lauren. Thanks to Todd Peterson for taking the time. And Bulldogs fans, make your plans for next Saturday at the UGA Bookstore prior to kickoff from 5 until 7 p.m. Coach Vince Dooley and Garrison Hurst will be signing autographs. Shop the UGA Bookstore for the best in Georgia gear next to Sanford Stadium or online 24-7 at ugabookstore.com. The UGA Bookstore, it's where the dogs shop. 
Eric Zier is less than 10 minutes away. We'll talk more about Georgia's quarterback situation and our running backs, Dogs versus the Hogs, today on the Bulldog Sports Network. I'm John Addison, a lifetime Bulldog fan, Georgia graduate, and the chairman of Distribution for Primerica, the largest independent financial services marketing company in North America. Primerica is a Main Street company for Main Street families. We help people from all walks of life achieve their goals and dreams by offering common sense financial solutions to today's challenges. As a Georgia-based company, Primerica is proud to continue to sponsor Georgia football. Go Dawgs! Angela and I have big plans for 2020. A new stamp in our passports, maybe a bathroom renovation. We definitely didn't expect to be worried about our income. When life takes you out of one comfort zone, your Regents Banker has helpful tools and advice to help you find a new one. It's a relief to have a plan for whatever comes next. Make your financial plan at regents.com slash brave the beginning. Regents Bank, member FDIC, official bank of the SEC. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Hump Day, Taco Day, or any other day, every day is the day to save at the Toyota Today's the Day sales event, where you can get a great deal on the entire Toyota lineup until November 2nd. Contact your local Toyota dealer today. Get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2020 Toyota RAV4. Offer valid through September 30th, 2020. Zero down for well-qualified buyers with approved credit and financing through Southeast Toyota Finance. 6067 monthly payment for every $1,000 financed. Excludes tax, tag, registration, title, and dealer fees. See dealer for details. When you are the official sponsor of the comeback, adding a few feet to a drive matters. First down. So does shaving a tenth of a second off a lap. Top-rated surgery, physical therapy, and motion analysis by the sports medicine team at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta helps teen athletes not only prevent injuries, but heal faster and return stronger, ready to win. Our more than 20 orthopedic and sports medicine locations are ready to assist your athletes' comeback. To learn more, visit choa.org slash sportsmed. We're counting you down to kickoff for the inside track on today's game. 28, 20, 10, 5, give him 6, touchdown! Here's more from the crew on the Napa tailgate show. From in the pocket, pushed back, now rolling back, throws it off his back foot, and oh my goodness, a circus catch! Is that Harriet? Holy smoke, diving to the turf, he tapped it up to himself and then caught it as he hit the ground in Florida territory. Oh, was that a great catch and play last year, huh, against Florida? Yes, sirree, Bob, this is genuine Georgia football on your radio from Fayetteville, Arkansas. And you know it is because you've got Scott Howard, Eric Zier, Lauren Smith, and your old buddy Hondo on the Napa Tailgate Show. And now presented by Primerica. Primerica, the only company positioned to make the maximum impact on Main Street families. Here's the longest mainstay of our veteran radio crew, Lauren Smith. Thank you, Neil. Our Primerica player of fall camp is Amir White, the Tar Heel-born running back who's been a reserve with great promise. We're expecting his coming out party party sooner than later and our thanks to primerica for helping us honor a bulldog player each week and a special shout out to mike burroughs of primerica and josh lee and leland barra for their behind the scenes assist thank you very thank you very much lauren and checking the scoreboard for you man kentucky was trailing auburn eight to seven they had first and goal at the one didn't get in didn't get in, and then on third and goal, threw a pass that was intercepted and returned 102 yards. Auburn now, with that touchdown, uh, just seven seconds left to play in the first half. Tigers leading. Four, oh, they take it. Did Z? They take it off? Actually, actually, they 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 did take it off. There was a targeting call on the on the play so it brought the t- negated the touchdown <laughs> brought it back so now it's first and 10 auburn so an eventful couple of plays there back to back in the auburn kentucky game and they're kneeling down taking it into half oh boy thank you so auburn's only up eight to seven wow that happened in the split second there the uh, the overturn there thank you eric for uh correcting that information other scores fifth ranked florida leads ole miss 21 to 14 there's a minute nine left in the first half in that one uh in oxford 
third. It's number three, Oklahoma, with a 21-7 lead on Kansas State. They are uh, at halftime in uh, Norman, Oklahoma. And uh, Georgia Southern is playing 19th-ranked Louisiana. They are 7-7 at halftime. This is the Napa Tailgate Show. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. The legendary Eric Zier returns and talks UGA quarterbacks and more next on the Bulldog Sports Network. The relief on the hot water heater failed, pouring gallons of water into your finished basement. The drainage hose on your dishwasher breaks, sending an endless stream of water onto your kitchen and living room hardwood floors. No matter what happens in your home, the cleanup and restoration specialists at Surf Pro will be with you every step of the way until you're back on your feet. So when fire or water damage strikes, call on Surf Pro to make it like it never even happened. 1-800-SURF-PRO and SurfPro.com. Glory. Glory to old Georgia. The dogs are unleashed, and so are the savings. Scana Energy is a proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. So sing, cheer, and put on your red and black in honor of our team. Celebrate the dogs' journey to glory this football season with Scana Energy by calling 877-GO-SCANA or visiting scanaenergy.com to save. You're listening to Dogs Football. Brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all of your car care needs. Get guaranteed low prices and excellent customer service at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Hey, football fans, let's talk about your home game setup. You're probably watching from your living room, which might double as your home office, and your dining room, and maybe even a bedroom. Well, with rates at historic lows, it's a great time to refinance with Rocket Mortgage and get cash out of your home. Cash you could use to remodel a basement or a den into the ultimate fan cave. When you're ready to upgrade your home game, Rocket can. Get started at rocketmortgage.com. Rocket Mortgage, proud supporter of college athletics. Call for cost information and conditions equal housing lender licensed in all 50 states and MLSConsumeraccess.org number 3030. This is Derek's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. After the third time jump-starting my car, I finally realized my battery was dying. So I stopped by O'Reilly to have it checked. They tested it right there in the parking lot. It was bad, real bad. But they helped me find the right battery for my car and even installed it for free. Now my car starts like new. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. You're listening to Georgia football. Over the shoulder catch at the 10, 5, touchdown right down the seam. Now back to the Napa Tailgate Show. Balls on the 13. We pitch it right to Zeus. Zeus towards the end zone. Did he get there? Yeah, he fights off a green shirt and gets into the end zone. Powers his way across the goal line in front of the right pylon. All right, checking some more scores quickly. Georgia Tech trailing Syracuse 17 to nothing. They are early in the second quarter. And, yes, that's a roar you hear from our capacity crowd here in our Scana studios. So glad that you're with us. Time now for Georgia Offense Update brought to you by UPS. Working together to achieve great things like the Bulldogs, that's problem solving. Visit UPS.com to learn more. Official logistics partner of Georgia Athletics. And this is the Napa Tailgate Show. Today we uh, hope to continue a terrific run for the dogs have en- uh, that they've enjoyed under Coach Smart in the past three years. Gone 33 and 3 and won the SEC title all three years. And Eric Zyre, speaking of the past three years, we've had a rhythmic consistency of a metronome sitting atop a piano. We've had Jake Fromm since the second game of the 2017 season. Georgia fans have been able to rest comfortably knowing that he was at the helm of the dogs' offense every time we needed him to come out and take that helm. And now in about two and a half hours, we're going to get a gander at the uh, those who would be king. Your thoughts? Yeah, and we've got two that have captured the, the attention of the Bulldog Nation, captured the attention uh, of the coaching staff. Uh, and those two are JT Daniels and Dwan Mathis. Daniels, the highly touted transfer 
degree coming from USC uh, that's on the college level completed 61% of his passes for nearly 3,000 yards and in 15 touchdowns. So no question, he brings the experience that, that you would want to see into that locker room. But the one that's created the buzz is Dwan Mathis, the six foot six redshirt freshman uh, coming off a, a surgery where he had a, a cyst removed uh, off of his brain. He's put weight back on. But he's really electrified, I, I, I think, this offense and, and raised eyebrows within this coaching staff. Uh, JT Daniels not cleared as of right now, so we expect Dwan Mathis uh, to step into the fray. But, uh, you, you know, with all of the buzz that you're hearing about Dwan Mathis, even if JT Daniels were cleared to play, uh, he still may be the guy or, or might have been the guy regardless. Uh, and, and he's got the frame to go out there and play. He's, gonna, he's going to continue to grow into his body, but he's athletic. Uh, he throws a good, accurate football, uh, and, and he can bring a different level of excitement to this Georgia offense. One thing we know for sure, regardless of who it is, they're going to have a stout offensive line in front of them. They're going to have playmakers surrounding them, and they can always lean back on one of the best defenses in all of college football to play. So regardless of who we have out there pulling the trigger, if they can manage the football game, the dogs can win every single game they play in. Last year we were desperate for a number two. This year part of me worries what if all we have are number twos we know that whoever it is is not going to be a guy that sat there and played uh, in a lot of football games especially at the sec level and we got to be able to manage that and uh, we got to play to our strengths that's Coach Kirby Smart, and uh, he's exactly right. First, give Coach Smart and this entire staff credit for not taking their, their foot off the pedal when it comes to recruiting. They went out, even when we had Jamie Newman, who opted out now for this football season, we went out and got a JT Daniels. We, we continued to groom uh, the Dwan Mathises of the world and, and went out and got a highly touted freshman in Carson Beck. So we've loaded up the, the team with talent, but when he talks about playing to the strengths, it's exactly what this uh, – what these quarterbacks have to do, manage the football game, play within themselves, understand you've got playmakers around you and you've got one of the best defenses in the game. You protect the football, you manage the game, you do your job and, and play within yourself, you're going to be in every game you play in. Running back, Z, who do you like uh, as our uh, top three, four backs there? Uh, you know, it's going to be Zamir and and James Cook, I would guess, is one and two. And, are, are you know, are they up to the challenge? Are they up to be? the guys to take over in the long line of Gurley, Chubb, Dwan, uh, DeAndre Smith. Yeah, you've got Kenny McIntosh and, and uh, freshman Kendall Milton that you can throw into that, that mix as well. But Swift, sorry. Uh, yeah, DeAndre Swift. But when you when you look at um, when you look at Zeus, Samir White, uh, last year up until the Sugar Bowl, uh, you could tell that he still hadn't regained that confidence. Just in coming off of a uh, of a couple of knee injuries, not really himself. Had his head down when he was running. Wasn't as agile as you would want him to see. All of a sudden, going to that Sugar Bowl where he regained some of that confidence. He knew he was going to be the guy getting the, the bulk of the carries. He looked like a different running back. He carries that over into this year. He's got all of the talent in the world to be an, an elite running back. James Cook may be the most electrifying person on this football team outside of George Pickens, uh, who I think is head and shoulders uh, uh, when, when you look at receivers across the country. Maybe the best receiver in the country. He's going to get an awful lot of attention. James Cook has a chance to be the most electrifying playmaker uh, and put up numbers that, that nobody else on this offense can can put up. So uh, a great one-two punch. Kenny McIntosh, I, I think, is is a running back that you go put him on any team anywhere in the country. He'd be a starter, and he'd be a high-level starter and performer for you. I just love the way he runs. He's got great vision. He's got great burst. He can run with power. Uh, and, and then Kendall Milton's another guy, um, a freshman, but when he gets into the football game, uh, he has a chance to be explosive. You've got four guys, and when they touch it, they can take it to the house, and they're going to be running behind. A lot of new guys on that offensive line, uh, but just five-star talents up front that are big, strong, and, and physical. That will continue to be the strength of this football team on the offensive side of the ball. All right, well done, Z. Thank you. Eric returns shortly with his desires for today's clash. Twix number four, Georgia and Arkansas. Drink will flow and blood will spill. And if the boys want to fight, you better let them. At 4.01 on the Bulldog Sports Network.
This is head coach Kirby Smart. It's my job to coach the fundamentals of football and prepare my guys for the future. Well, my friends at Southeast Mortgage are preparing you for your future by becoming a homeowner. Every Bulldog deserves a home. If you're in the market to purchase or refinance, I trust Southeast Mortgage to provide the best experience and get it done. Visit southeastmortgage.com UGA to get pre-approved for your home loan today. Southeast Mortgage, the official home loan lender of the Georgia Bulldogs. Southeast Mortgage of Georgia Incorporated, NMLS, number 103956. Georgia Residential Mortgage License, number 657. Hi, Georgia fans. I'm Scott Howard here for UPS. Your customers want more from your business. You've got to make more happen, whether they're in Athens, Georgia, or on the other side of the world, globally or locally. UPS is building solutions to help businesses give their customers exactly what they want. More made easy. UPS, official logistics company of Georgia Athletics. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Dealing with constant changes, not easy. Letting go of my inner perfectionist, ooh, not easy. But crossing a few things off my financial to-do list, surprisingly simple. Regents tools and advice make it easy to manage your money. From podcasts and webinars to budget and savings calculators, we'll help you find your financial comfort zone. Those few little financial tweaks have made a big difference. Check off some financial to-dos at regents.com slash brave the beginning. Regents Bank, member FDIC, official bank of the SEC. With so many new pet owners, Kezia's grooming can't keep up. Kezia's grooming? Sorry, we'll book solid through the weekend. I can give you a call back, though, if something opens up. It's time to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. The moment you sponsor a job on Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from our resume database. Indeed delivers two and a half times more hires than the other branded job sites combined, according to Breezy HR 2019. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get a $75 credit for your first job post. Terms and conditions apply. The dogs play here. Wow! Power straight ahead. Touchdown! You're listening to the Napa Tailgate Show. High formation. Christian Payne in at fullback. He blocks for jump. Jump breaking tackles. Jump 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nick Jump! Today's opponents last swapped paint six years ago, October of 2014, when the dogs prevailed in Little Rock, three hours from here in Fayetteville. 45-32 that day, and a freshman by the name of Nick Chubb, making only his second career start, finished with a personal best 202 yards on 30 carries with two TDs in that scrum. Georgia leads the all-time series with Arkansas by a 10-4 margin. This is the Napa Tailgate Show with Scott Eric Hondo, Lauren, Tony Schiavone, and let's hand it off to Lauren. Welcome. My guest now is Hunter Uritek, the athletic director at the University of Arkansas. Uh, I'm guessing it might have been your first trip to Athens. You came with a mission, and that was to hire uh, your present coach, Sam Pittman, whom we all admire and respect here. How well has he been received in Fayetteville since he took the job? Well, uh, he has been received incredibly, um, and it's well-deserved. I mean, he, he had a tenure um, here at the University of Arkansas as our offensive line coach prior to um, arriving there in Athens and had built some phenomenal relationships across the state. I remarked at his press conference that we had when we hired him as the head coach. We had a 1,000-plus people at that, at that press conference, and uh, it kind of felt like Sam was from the state of Arkansas. Um, as opposed to having only worked in the state of Arkansas for three years. And I think that's a testament to um, who he is as a, as a man and who Jamie is and, and the relationships that they were able to build in a very short time uh, across our state. And uh, that, that night when uh, I came over to, to Athens, it was the Sunday after the SEC championship game, I believe there was an event that Sam was supposed to be at uh, a Georgia football. I think it was a banquet award ceremony or, or something. Uh, he skipped that, and uh, his absence and his lack of presence there uh, started the rumor mill flying um, as I was uh, driving over from the airport there in Athens and then you know arrived at his house. Him and I visited um, along with Jamie and a couple of other members of my, my staff for an hour or two and uh, I offered him a job, and before he could say yes, uh, him and Jamie both started crying. Um, and um, it was 
I knew then that I had hired the right head coach because uh, he, he was passionate about the Razorbacks and he desperately wanted the opportunity to be, to be the head football coach at the University of Arkansas. Well, everybody appreciates uh, a coach or anybody on any staff, uh, with a, even, even if it's not athletics, uh, the strength of having a good wife. So I'm sure Jamie has won a lot of hearts over in Fayetteville also. Uh, yes, she has, and uh, Sam refers to her as Mama Hog. Of course, <laughs> she doesn't like that con connotation of being uh, Mama Hog, but, uh, you know, the, the, the players ha have taken to her. Um, this, the, the COVID piece has um, really prohibited her from being around the team as much as, as I know she would like to um, as she looks out for the best interests of, of, our, of, our, of our players and their health and safety and well-being. But um, it's definitely a team. It's, it's, it's Sam and Jamie, um, and they go together, and, and she says, you know, they don't have children of their own. Uh, she's got 120 kids that are members of the Razorback football program. Well, Coach, uh, Arkansas, sparsely populated state compared to others. You have to recruit out of state uh, to do the program you wanted to do. Uh, Frank Broyles certainly did it, and I'm sure uh, Sam is looking in that same direction. Was his ability to recruit one of the key factors in your hiring him? Uh, absolutely. It was probably up there at uh, number one or number two because where our football program has been, um, we're, we're going to get from where we're at now to where we want to be uh, by recruiting uh, better players. And, and Sam has proven throughout his career uh, the ability to to recruit and um, one of the things he is incredible at is building relationships with young men and, and their moms and dads and their grandmas and their aunts and uncles and their decision makers in their life and I love going over and sitting in Coach Pittman's office when when he's on a recruiting call uh, and he just you can just tell he's got that young man just eating out of the palm of his hand he still does a remarkable job at that build our football program back to where we want it to be. It's going to happen uh, by recruiting top-level talent, and his ability to do that was definitively one of the reasons why he's our head football coach. Well, I can tell you from personal experience, uh, he wears well with people, and that'll be good for the department, the campus, and certainly for recruiting, and we'd like to thank you for joining us today. Hunter Yurchek with the uh, Arkansas Razorbacks. We go back over to Neil Williamson. All right, thank you, Lauren. Bulldogs fans, tune in tomorrow night at midnight to WSB TV Channel 2 to catch this season's first episode of Kirby Smart All Access. This week, you'll get a behind the scenes look at the equipment staff's planning and preparation heading into this unprecedented season. That's Kirby Smart All Access tomorrow at midnight on WSB TV Channel 2 or anytime next week at GeorgiaDogs.com. The voice of the dog, Scott Howard, is swinging a bat in the on-deck circle. We'll get Scott's take on the Felipe factor, part of today's SEC scenario between number four Georgia and Arkansas. We kick it for Scott in two minutes on the Bulldog Sports Network. From the farmer's field that produces your food to the football field where your home team plays, Georgia Farm Bureau is committed to helping Georgia communities thrive. Georgia Farm Bureau provides peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance with affordable coverage and fast claim services. By insuring with Georgia Farm Bureau, you're making an investment in Georgia agriculture, Georgia farmers, and Georgia families. With more than 150 offices in the state, Georgia Farm Bureau is always the home team. The head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs, I know a good block when I see one. Just like Delta, as part of the Delta Care standard, which is giving you more space by blocking all middle seats until January 6th for your safety. That's why Delta is the official airline of your Georgia Bulldogs and UGA athletics. Go dogs and go Delta and keep climbing. This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. After two years of construction, my wife and I finally moved into our dream home. So when a bathtub fixture broke, causing major water damage, I was glad we had the home insurance protection we needed. How do you know your home is protected? Talk to a country financial rep like me, Nick Simon. 
We can help you understand your options and select coverages to meet your needs. Then if something happens to your home, you won't have any surprises. Need the right coverage for your home but not sure where to start? Visit TakeSimpleSteps.com or contact a local country representative. Love getting prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh? Then shop at Kroger. We give you more ways to save on the fresh you love with tools like the Kroger app, where you can find personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, giving you prices that are lower than the everyday low. Kroger, fresh for everyone. If you like extra cash, the Kroger Rewards MasterCard is the card for you. You'll earn 5% cash back on the first $2,500 you spend. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Counting you down to kick off. He goes down underneath Big George Davis Crush. You're listening to the Napa Auto Parts Tailgate Show. Mix in the pocket, nowhere to go. We gotta sack him! We sack him for a big loss, and the ball goes over on downs. Trayvon Walker got the sack. No timeouts, 139 to go. The dogs will run out the clock and capture the Eastern Division Championship. Oh, what a great day. What a fun day. 21-14, winning down at Auburn last year. That was a fun night down on the plane, Scott Howard. On a far less fun note, my friend, you like Georgia linebacker Jermaine Johnson have been right here and are right there in Athens, rather, along with the dogs throughout a COVID-disrupted seven-month span. I never really let it seep into my brain that we wouldn't play because that would affect how I trained. Um, so I, I just trained every day like like we did have a game, like nothing changed. So, um, But I guess there was some non-confidence uh, around the time where uh, the virus was was uh, kind of going out of control and, and stuff like that. But uh, again, I just kind of tr- tried to train like, um, like, like that wasn't the case. Scott, lots of challenges for Coach Smart and the dogs this year. You've talked to Kirby, of course, a number of times now. And uh, uh, biggest challenges that he's shared with you? Well, what Jermaine was talking about, their conditioning was was one of them, the conditioning of the players, because once they were turned loose, uh, you know, in March or April, whenever it was they that, that school shut down and, and uh, they went home to, to, uh, to learn, uh, they had to keep conditioning, but they couldn't come on campus to do it. And uh, so it was a situation where, uh, you know, they had to do it on their own. They had to find things to, to do to try to stay in, in good shape. It wasn't really – football shape but uh, the training staff the strength and conditioning staff helped with a lot of online stuff a lot of virtual stuff so that that was a big challenge when they when the players came back on campus in the summer uh, according to what Kirby has told me uh, the conditioning certainly was an issue and they had to work on that and then just communication Uh, you know everything went virtual Uh, there were no more in-person meetings uh, no more face-to-face type things Uh, so everything was done on your laptop or on some device and you know, you were sitting there in the, in the Brady Bunch squares and, and uh, trying to communicate with people. So uh, those were the things to try to – they had to overcome those challenges like everybody else that want to continue, you know, progressing so that you could play football where we are today. So uh, those were some of the things that were very challenging for this program. Well, we speak about communication and challenges, and we can't say names because of HIPAA laws and not all that other stuff, but uh, we are down a man today and a very critical man who uh, sets up all of our communications commi- uh, equipment for uh, Coach Smart and the coaches on the field to those up in the box. And I know that John Mishad, who is uh, uh, an assistant uh, athletic director for, for uh, equipment manager, um, has been scrambling with, uh, <laughs> with his intern. He has yeah. an intern who was uh, um, who was helping them set that up today. That's uh, that's one of those jobs that uh, apparently didn't have uh, a backup. Uh, so yeah, that's unfortunate, and uh, hopefully Georgia was able to to work that out today because you need that communication from the sidelines to the booth. I mean, it's it's pretty vital. I don't know if they do that in college, but in the NFL, don't they? If one system doesn't work, the other team. They don't get to use theirs, isn't that how it works? Yeah. Except for the Patriots, and they cheat and they still use. Yeah, it. they do, but but you know you you got to win Super Bowls somehow, and <laughs> and and you know there are only so many teams who are going to give you twenty five point advantages. <laughs> yes. So, um, <clears throat> hey, I didn't fire the first shot. <laughs> I didn't fire the first shot. Uh, <laughs> 
All right, we'll get back on track here. You're listening to the Napa Tailgate Show. We're speaking with the voice of the dog, Scott Howard. Scott, today Georgia will face a new coaching staff for Arkansas under our old friend Sam Pittman. And uh, one face we will recognize for the Razorbacks uh, will be that of the quarterback, the man under center. Yeah, Felipe Franks, uh, gone from Florida, lands here in Fayetteville, and uh, he's he's going to be – he's got the most experience, I guess, uh, of any quarterback uh, that will be on the field today for either side. But everybody's coming off some sort of an injury or, or something right. has gone on for, uh, again, the quarterbacks for both sides, it seems, that we'll see today trying to recover from something. Uh, and Franks is, is no different. Uh, you know, he had up and down success at Florida. Didn't really have success against Georgia when he was at Florida, which was a good thing for us. Um, but he, you know, he did have some moments, and uh, hopefully he doesn't have a moment today for Arkansas in their opener. Well, you're being kind because Felipe lost to the Dogs. Felipe and the Gators lost to the Dogs in 2017, 42-7. He was sacked five times. He fumbled on the three-yard line that J.R. Reed returned for a touchdown. And then the next year, Franks wasn't much better, losing 36-17 with his Gators teammates. Uh, so he was a combined 0-2 for 2, 0 and 2 against the Dogs, turned the ball over four times, two interceptions, two fumbles. Georgia victories averaged 39-12 to 12 in those games over Florida. He was 20 for 40 passing for 135 yards and one TD in two games combined. So Scott Howard is Felipe Franks, the orange and blue reincarnation of Reggie Ball. <laughs> well, after you mention all that, uh, that could be the case. you know. And I'm wondering if, uh, if he transferred to Arkansas because uh, he's like, uh, okay, Georgia's not on the schedule. Georgia's not on the schedule. I'm going to Arkansas. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> things got flipped on him, and Georgia's on the schedule, and it's the first game out of the shoot. All right. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for your good sense of humor, as always. Scott returns with Coach Kirby Smart twice between now and 3.30, and Kevin Butler and Jeff Dantzler will join us in two minutes. The stadium is empty here in Arkansas and will fill only to quarter capacity for kickoff, but the Dogs bus is on the road from the hotel, and Georgia football is back on the Bulldog Sports Network. With thousands of locally owned Napa stores across the nation, chances are that wherever you call home, we do too. And that's why you can find us in big cities, small towns, and everywhere in between, doing what we've always done to help keep our local communities moving forward. So whether you stop by a Napa Auto Parts store, Auto Care Center, or visit us at Napa Online, you can count on Napa know-how. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Hump Day, Taco Day, or any other day, every day is the day to save at the Toyota Today's the Day sales event, where you can get a great deal on the entire Toyota lineup until November 2nd. Contact your local Toyota dealer today. Get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2020 Toyota RAV4. Offer valid through September 30th, 2020. Zero down for well-qualified buyers with approved credit and financing through Southeast Toyota Finance. 6067 monthly payment for every $1,000 financed. Excludes tax, tag, registration, title, and dealer fees. See dealer for details. Georgia football is brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts, your professional parts people. I'm John Addison, a lifetime Bulldog fan, Georgia graduate, and the chairman of distribution for Primerica, the largest independent financial services marketing company in North America. Primerica is a Main Street company for Main Street families. We help people from all walks of life achieve their goals and dreams by offering common sense financial solutions to today's challenges. As a Georgia-based company, Primerica is proud to continue to sponsor Georgia football. Go Dawgs! Hi, Georgia fans. I'm Scott Howard here for UPS. Your customers want more from your business. You've got to make more happen, whether they're in Athens, Georgia, or on the other side of the world, globally or locally. UPS is building solutions to help businesses give their customers exactly what they want. More made easy. UPS, official logistics company of Georgia Athletics. It's game day for the Dogs. Throw into the end zone. Oh, touchdown, Pickens! Touchdown, Pickens! Back right corner. Let's rejoin the Napa Auto Parts tailgate show. We'll run the fake with Camarda out of the holding 
position, takes the snap, and off he goes. He gets the first down. They trip him up inside the five. It's time to talk special teams. The All-State kicking game. Protecting you has no offseason. You're in good hands with All-State, along with legendary Bulldog Kevin Butler, the first kicker ever inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. I'm Jeff Dantzler. KB, can the dogs catch punts? and make the short field goals of the PATs today. That, that's one of the top concerns heading again because there are a lot of question marks uh, with the kicking game for Georgia this year. Yeah, there are. You know, with Allstate, you're in good hands, and our specialty teams this day is in new hands. we got Coach Cochran out there today leading the special team, so we're going to have a lot of new people out there, and I think I'm going to look for – how in tune the special teams are. Because as you've seen some of these early games, Jeff, you know, some mistakes in the kicking games, whether it's a missed block here. And those are the plays that let a team like Arkansas stay in the game with Georgia. So I'm going to look for a sharp special team play today from everybody, and and that's going to be some new faces too. I would imagine every coach across the country, college, pros, high schools, you name it, as poor as a special teams play has been, in college and the NFL, insert Atlanta Falcons here, uh, I would guess everybody was putting in double time with the kicking game this week. Well, there's only so much time you can put in, and it's really up to the players to pay attention, as you saw in the Falcons game. Know your assignment in every situation. Every situation's covered. They have not covered everything that happens in a game all the time. But as you lead into a season, you cover every situation. So – I would expect to see Georgia have a lot of different guys in there, and certainly you just want to see them you know, be prepared. Mistakes don't happen if you're prepared. They only happen when you're not prepared. All right, are we going to see Jack Pod Lesney from down in the beautiful Golden Isles kicking well, for Georgia Well, I tell you, today? we got to say uh, congratulations, Jack, right there because uh, he has won the game. He's won the tournament, and uh, he is the guy that's on the first tee today. So, um, you know, I think it came down to them just charting kicks. And, uh, you know, when I was up here probably three weeks ago, um, that percentage right there was probably around 68, and, and my first – My first comment was, that's not good enough. And um, obviously, Jack has performed well enough, won that competition, won Coach Smart's confidence, and now he's going to go out there and try to earn the confidence of the Bulldog Nation today. Got to be 80% and better if you're going to be a kicker at the University of Georgia, no matter if it's your first year or not. Uh, And the bottom line is, too, there are not too many Rex Robinsons, Kevin Butler's, Alan Levitt's, John Casey's who could go out there and uh, hit the 50-plus yarders. And Rodrigo Blankenship was was certainly one of the best we've had. But what's most important, when that drive bogs down, can you make the 32-yarder? Can you make the 37-yarder? Can the kickoffs not go out of bounds? Can you make your PATs? you got to make the ones you're supposed to make. Well, yeah, exactly. I think that's where that 80% comes from. If you start missing those short ones, it drops down to 70, 72, 67, and then all of a sudden you're putting your team in some big trouble. Um, You know what? Um, Zirkel was the the freshman we signed. Obviously, he's got some more performance to show the coaches the win there confidence but uh, Jack has done it I'm looking forward to seeing uh, not only his face but a lot of new faces on special teams today and how about Jake Kamard I thought second half of the year he was one of the best punters in the SEC yeah I you know I'll take that a little bit bigger Jeff I think he's probably one of the best punters if not the best punter in the nation and you can just see his raw talent but now it's not just raw talent Um, he's tuned in he knows how to be an effective punter and to really know how to make it you know, effect on a game, whether it's the uh, good pooch kicks or whether it's flipping the field. I don't think we're going to see the dogs have to flip the field much this year, but early in the season, you know, 2020, who knows what can happen. Catch punch, avoid those STDs, no special teams exactly. disasters, and maybe force a couple from the Razorbacks today. That'd be an awesome day. All right, it's Georgia and Arkansas as we go inside the kicking game, brought to you by Allstate. Protecting you has no off season. You're in good hands with Allstate. Let's send it back to Hondo. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Kevin. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bulldog Sports Network. Eric Zier is waiting in the wings with his desires for the dogs and the hogs today. Back in two minutes on the Bulldog Sports Network. Recruiting is a vital part of team building. 
Recruiting also plays an important role in protecting my home from termites with Cook's Pest Control and the Centricon system. Termites eat the bait in the Centricon stations, then eagerly recruit other termites to also feed on the bait, thus eliminating the termite colony. Discover how affordable it is to protect your home. Call Cook's Pest Control. Looky, 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 here comes Cookie, Cook's Pest Control. From the farmer's field that produces your food to the football field where your home team plays, Georgia Farm Bureau is committed to helping Georgia communities thrive. Georgia Farm Bureau provides peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance with affordable coverage and fast claim services. By insuring with Georgia Farm Bureau, you're making an investment in Georgia agriculture, Georgia farmers, and Georgia families. With more than 150 offices in the state, Georgia Farm Bureau is always the home team. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. This is head coach Kirby Smart. It's my job to coach the fundamentals of football and prepare my guys for the future. Well, my friends at Southeast Mortgage are preparing you for your future by becoming a homeowner. Every Bulldog deserves a home. If you're in the market to purchase or refinance, I trust Southeast Mortgage to provide the best experience and get it done. Visit southeastmortgage.com UGA to get pre-approved for your home loan today. Southeast Mortgage, the official home loan lender of the Georgia Bulldogs. Southeast Mortgage of Georgia Incorporated, NMLS, number 103956. Georgia Residential Mortgage License, number 6578. As the head coach of Georgia Bulldogs, I know a good block when I see one. Just like Delta, as part of the Delta Care Standard, which is giving you more space by blocking all middle seats until January 6th for your safety. That's why Delta is the official airline of your Georgia Bulldogs and UGA Athletics. Go Dogs and go Delta and keep climbing. Welcome back to the Napa Auto Parts Tailgate Show. In the pocket, nowhere to go. We got a second. We sack it for a big loss, and the ball goes over on downs. Here again is Neil Hondo Williamson. Dogs moving to the right. A snap from Hill back to Fromm. Here comes pressure. Gators are coming. Fromm hangs it up, and it's caught. Eli Wolf at midfield. The tight end. They put him down at the Gator 43, and that should do it. That did do it. Three in a row over the Gators. There's the kind of upward trend we like. Welcome back, Georgia and Arkansas, today from Fayetteville. Yes, the season has truly, finally arrived. And we are in our hermetically sealed Scana Press Box studio. Eric Zire back with Zire's Desires, brought to you by Athens Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. The fastest, easiest way to buy your next new car, truck, or SUV. Choose from the largest selection at AthensDCJR.com. Always the best deal, always. Z? Well, desire one has already been met, and that is the fact that we sit here right now on the verge of watching real football in a, a year where nothing has been normal, where this day was in so much question. It feels so good to be here. And to make the day even better, we need to let the junkyard dogs loose on defense. Felipe Franks transferring in from Florida. He's a big, tall, strong, athletic quarterback. But if you get him on the move and if you get him on the ground, he gets erratic and he will throw you the football exactly what the dogs need to do for force third and longs today and then get after Franks as much as we possibly can. Get him out of the pocket. He will turn the football over to us and want to see the confidence from one Zamir White that we saw in the Sugar Bowl. Finally, after coming back from, from injury and not really having confidence in his leg and, and running with his head down so much in the Sugar Bowl, that all changed. Want to see that continue over. And then finally, we want to see a mentally sharp football game. We are a better football team than the Arkansas Razorbacks. We've had a disrupted offseason, as has everybody. Can we come out here and be sharp and play without penalties, not turn the football over? We do those things. We should be a hop happy dog nation heading back into Athens. Excellent job, Z. Thank you. And also back for another season with our virus-free radio crew is our producer-engineer, Tony Schiavone. Tone, how's hey, the fam? How's hey, the AEW? Everybody's fine, Hondo. I wiped down everything today with, with uh, I want to let everybody know that everything's been sanitized here. Thank that's you, what sir. we do. And uh, everything's fine. Uh, we're still doing wrestling. We're starting to let fans in now. 
Uh, we had 500 the other night uh, for our show of social distancing. So everything's great, man. It's uh, it's it's great. It's great working for the Jaguars. But I'm glad to see that Z's got his game face on, man. Good job. Good, good job there, Z. Had your game face on, right? It's, it's been on from early this morning. We really, really since I got on the plane because that's when it needs to start. That's when right. game time starts. Right. Uh, we've had a little bit of uh, disruption here in the booth early this morning with Hondo and Scott, yeah. but we're getting them in line too, and, and they're coming along <laughs> a little slow. I do hope, Tony, that our team doesn't start as slow as Hondo Whoa. and Scott. Okay, well, and the thing of it is. Why are you lumping him in? I'm, I just, the, I'm the one who is dying around here. Just for fun. <laughs> If everybody knows now for sure that if our team is a foot, our broadcast team, you're the big toe. Okay. <laughs> and there we have a new All nickname right. for Eric Zier. Thank you, Tony Schiavone. Wednesday nights on TNT at 8 o'clock, AEW with our Tony Schiavone. Great to have you back, buddy. Dogs versus the Hogs. More to come, including, including Coach Kirby Smart in the next 20 minutes on the Bulldog Sports Network. This is Hondo for Engineered Solutions of Georgia, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. If you have cracks in your interior walls, foundation walls, or water in your basement, ESOG can help you come up with a solution. I'm attorney Ken Nugent, and I'm here with legendary Georgia Bulldog quarterback and radio host Buck Palou. Ken and I are teaming up to give back to the brave men and women of our military. Ken's going to donate $500 to one member of the military every Bulldog football game this season. If you're a member of the military in Atlanta, go to attorneykennugent.com to enter. And somebody's going to win $500 every game. One click. That's it. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Work. Hey, this is Trip Strickland at Georgia Metals, and we are so much more than metal roofing. We're steel buildings, metal fabrication, custom welding. We're everything metal. So for all your metal needs, call Georgia Metals, where quality steel matters. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Make your first play of the season a smart one. Get a fast and easy sports physical right around the corner from Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens. With 27 locations offering extended hours and most open seven days a week, you can book online to get in, get out, and get on your way to a championship year. Visit piedmont.org UGA to schedule a sports physical today. Patient care services provided by Piedmont Healthcare. Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens. One stop to better. Hey, Bulldog fans, Coach Smart here. My friends at Georgia United Credit Union now offer Georgia Bulldogs Visa debit cards. Now you can show your team pride everywhere you go and spend. Pick your favorite design and score yours today. Georgia United makes banking easy, friendly, and smart for busy members like myself. Attack the day with a free checking account that pays big interest. It's the smart choice. Visit at gucu.org forward slash go dogs for important account information. Insured by NCUA, Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. game day and the dogs are ready to eat and it is caught touchdown money top let's rejoin the napa tailgate show back on the 30 now brewer wants to pass he does he throws it in it's tipped and intercepted we've got it richard lecount got it off the tip he's running to the far side they'll drag him down at the 26 yard line Richie LeCount, the first of two interceptions in last year's Sugar Bowl win over Baylor. Thanks for tuning in to the Napa Tailgate Show with Scott Howard, Eric Zier, Neil Hondo Williamson, and our Lauren Smith. Lauren? We welcome to our show today Neil, Eric, uh, a really wonderful person that I've uh, known since he was a student at the University of Georgia, Jared Menko, a native of Oconee County, now the athletic director at Georgia Southern. So Jared, you had a interesting experience when you left Georgia. You set out to get into the business end of it. You went from Athens to Fayetteville, Arkansas to work for the Razorbacks. Then you spent some time at Auburn. And then you wound up at Mississippi State where you became the number two guy. How excited were you to come home? Well, you know, Lauren, it was a blessing and, and I appreciate y'all having me today. You no, know, it was a blessing to come back home. You know, we left and 2011 when I was at UGA I didn't know if we'd ever have a chance to come back to the state of Georgia and so this opportunity presented itself it was, it was really exciting for my family and I both professionally and personally and you know being back home it's, it's been a great feeling but 
you know, the same standpoint, you're always going to leave for the right reasons. And, and I felt the job at Georgia Southern is a university and athletic department. There was a lot of uh, a great growth trajectory, the university and the department we're on. And so uh, very excited. I'm coming up on six months and past six months have been really busy, but also too uh, really excited and really affirmation that I, we made the right decision. So. Now, you're on the business side uh, even before you left here, but you also uh, were an assistant to Claude Felton. What was the value of that experience? Well, you know, there's no doubt, and I always tell people Claude's like a second dad to me. And, you know, I think the thing that beyond just what I learned around, uh, you know, around college athletics, which was really a, a foundational element for me, was just, you know, it was a reminder about, you know, being aligned with great people. And not only industry leaders, but great people. And Claude's one of the best people uh, that you'll ever meet. And, and he's had an indelible mark on my career. And, and there's not a day that goes by the, the various situations in, in life and in our job that I think back on lessons I learned from Claude and on his staff. And um, I know I wouldn't be where I am today without my time, you know, with the Sports Communications Office at Georgia. Now, you were deputy AD at Mississippi State. Uh, as you moved up the ladder, you must have impressed people right away because you got some pretty high-profile responsibilities where you've been, which put you in a position to get the AD job at Georgia Southern. What was the value of that Mississippi State experience? Well, one, Lauren, I'm a byproduct of being blessed. I mean, God, God's going to uh, continue to position us where we can best glorify him. So I give him all the glory but no I mean, my, my experience in Mississippi State to me um, you know Laura was a blessing in a lot of ways because you know one Scott Strickland hired me and have a, a, a ton of respect and admiration for Scott and then John Cohen provided me with experiences that really accelerated my career and so I think there was a lot of great experiences there and I think being at the seat of the table and any uh, big decision you know the four years I was there it just gave me invaluable experience and really has prepared me for this role because you're always going to see curveballs and things you haven't seen, but I think when you when you've been in the SEC, which is the premier conference in the country, and you've been exposed to day-to-day operations of every facet of a large organization, it, it, it's experience you can't put a premium on. Well, you probably have been in touch with some of your old friends in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, how excited are the Razorbacks about hiring Sam Pittman? I think he has a relatability uh, to the fan base. He's obviously a tremendous recruiter, tremendous tactician as an offensive line coach, so. Everybody I've talked to thinks it was a really good fit. Um, you know, anytime you go through a coaching carousel, there's always a lot of names thrown out there and big names and people that are popular picks. I think Sam, um, at least the people I've talked with, they feel was the best fit for them. And so I know they're excited about the future and what he's bringing to the program. Well, I have to say all of those who know you and all, yeah, those of us in Athens who know you and those of us who knew Eric, I have to say you hit the jackpot by naming the uh, annual fund and the fundraising arm at the at Georgia Southern with the Eagles putting Irk's name on your fund. I think it's just tremendous. We congratulate you on your sensitivity, congratulate you on getting this fine job, and we wish you the best. And thank you for joining us today, Jared Binko. Thanks, Lauren, and good luck, to, good luck this weekend, and we'll talk soon. All right. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks for our old friend, Jared Benko. And, and congratulations, Jared. We are happy for him and proud of him. A one-time student who we all knew and now making it big. Scott returns with Coach Kirby Smart for a scouting report of the Arkansas Razorbacks. That's less than 20 minutes away. Number four, Georgia and SEC foe Arkansas. Toe meets leather at 401 on the Bulldog Sports Network. Love getting prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh? Then shop at Kroger. We give you more ways to save on the fresh you love with tools like the Kroger app, where you can find personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, giving you prices that are lower than the everyday low. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Now through October 18th, you can earn two times the fuel points when you shop Kroger Fridays through Sundays. Just download your digital coupon. Restrictions apply. Nothing kicks off your game better than a handful of Georgia peanuts. Power packed with protein, essential nutrients, and great taste. Georgia peanuts are the MVP for affordability, sustainability, and nutrition. To score life's touchdowns with recipes and fun facts, check out gapeanuts.com. The perfectly powerful peanut is brought to you by the family farmers of the Georgia Peanut Commission. Peanuts, get your peanuts. You're listening to Dogs Football, sponsored by Progressive. Drivers who save with Progressive save over $750 on average.
It's not really about the tailgating or even being in the stands. It's not even really about winning or losing. It's always been about being with friends and family, making memories for tomorrow while being in the moment today. That's what Georgia football means. Are you ready? We are. Since it's different this season and many of us can't get up to Athens, we're going to bring Athens to you. Visit HarryDoghouse.com to learn how your home gating experience can become one of your best Bulldog memories. These days I'm spending a lot more time at home, which means I need ways to easily control my comfort. And here's an insider tip. If you're a Georgia Power residential customer, you may be eligible for up to a $75 instant rebate on a smart thermostat. Here's how. Georgia Power's online marketplace features thermostats from brands like Google Nest, Honeywell, and Ecovee as well as a variety of LEDs and smart home products like smart speakers, Wi-Fi routers, indoor cameras, and more. Just visit the site and start shopping. Shop now at georgiapowermarketplace.com. We're counting you down to kickoff for the inside track on today's game. 28, 20, 10, 5, give it 6, touchdown! Here's more from the crew on the Napa Tailgate Show. Dogs four out of ten on third down. Shotgun snap to Cox. Going to throw it right side. They're tugging all over A.J. Green. In your face. He caught it anyway. Ramon Broadway was yanking on his arm and his jersey. And big A.J. Green said touchdown. What a great call, huh? Scott Howard, the best in the business, Z, I tell you. He is, without question, the best in the business. Joe Cox to A.J. Green for the score back in 2009. That was our last meeting with Arkansas here on campus in Fayetteville, a 52-41 UGA victory. Welcome back to the Napa Tailgate Show. It's time for our predictions segment. And speaking of Scott Howard, he was the winner last year, but today... I won last year? You won last year. I did I, I did not know that. I d- that is wild, <laughs> wacky, crazy. <laughs> Oh, funny stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lauren always wants a recount. You notice that? I mean, I win. He wants a recount. Scott wins. He wants a recount. Lauren wins. He wants a recount. Z. Oh well, no. Z's never won. So well, that, 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 <laughs> that is not true. Harsh. Th- th- those are those are that's that's fake news. That's Did you not win? Right. I won two. I won back to back years. Oh. Okay. Several years ago. Okay. In well, your fantasy league. But I'm I'm, I'm coming back this year. <laughs> I'm not going to take it easy on y'all anymore. I, I wanted everybody to feel good about themselves. I'm going to start strong and finish strong. It's not even going to be close this year. All right. With the griping, we'll start in one week, folks. Duke at Virginia. Go ahead, big toe. You're first. Duke at Virginia. <laughs> I've already got I've already got text with that. I'm uh, sure you have. Yeah, it's it's been great. Thank you, Shivani. Uh, Duke at Virginia. <laughs> I, I like I like Virginia. Um, I think they're going to c- come out and play strong. They got a reprieve by not having to play us early in the year. So, well. I believe Virginia is better than Duke, so a good coach at Duke. So good coach at Duke. But they turned the ball the over. Price. They ball, turned the ball over five times at BC last week. I say a very low-scoring game today. Wahoo! Wah! I'm with you guys. I like Virginia. So you UVA across the board, all four of us. Okay, number 16, Tennessee at South Carolina. Uh, Mike Bobo, great offensive coordinator, former Bulldog hero, is now accepting mail in Columbia. But his cupboard that he showed up for, that that China set, man, it's got missing pieces and chipped pieces and mismatched pieces. I think Tennessee wins that game today. I'm with you, Hondo. Tennessee. I'm right there as well. Tennessee came on strong at the end of last year. Uh, I like the Vols today. I believe the Gamecocks might win this at home, so I'm going with the Cox. Okay, Lauren Smith with the Gamecocks. And then finally, the 2-0 Bears at the 0-2 Falcons. Bears. Bears, okay. Time for, time for Falcons to rebound. I know it was pretty ugly last week. I'm going to go with the upset. I picked the Falcons. You know, everybody talks about that, but, you know, when you blow a lead like that, you have to remember it's Tom Brady, it's the Patriots, it's six. Oh, wait, they've done that twice now? Oh, they boy. Have. <laughs> Holy cow. 20 to nothing. You Bears. know what? Bears. I say the turnaround starts tomorrow. Bears. Falcons. <laughs> You're going to be welcomed out at Flurry Branch. <laughs> Any doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you like, Lauren? I don't like either, but I'll take the Falcons. <laughs> You'll ta- so three of us with the Falcons. With the Falcons. All, wow. Only Scott with the Bears. All right, hey, very Kevin, good. Kevin's with Butler's got the Bears. 
Butler's got the Bears. Okay. All right, this is the Napa Tailgate Show. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. Georgia versus Arkansas just after 4 o'clock today. Team minus two minutes and counting until Coach Kirby Smart joins Scott Howard with his scouting report on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Dogs fans, download the all-new Georgia football digital yearbook now at georgiadogs.com. Exclusive access to a season preview, player profile, UGA history, and more. It's completely free to access the Georgia football digital yearbook at georgiadogs.com. Sir, you're now being placed on arrest for driving under an influence. What does that mean? That means you've earned a night in the Gray Bar Motel. During your stay, you'll be photographed, fingerprinted, and given a stylish jumpsuit. And each room has an in-suite bathroom. Is all this free? Oh, no. Fines, court costs, and legal bills could add up to $10,000 or more. Save your money for a real hotel. Drive sober, or we will pull you over. This message brought to you by the Governor's Office of Highway Safety. The official Georgia football game program has gone fully digital and is now free to access. The paperback game program is no longer offered, so log on to georgiadogs.com slash digital to get everything you need to know heading into this week's matchup against Arkansas. georgiadogs.com slash digital. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. With thousands of locally owned Napa stores across the nation, chances are that wherever you call home, we do too. And that's why you can find us in big cities, small towns, and everywhere in between, doing what we've always done to help keep our local communities moving forward. So whether you stop by a Napa Auto Parts store, Auto Care Center, or visit us at Napa Online, you can count on Napa Know How. Get ready for kickoff at the UGA Bookstore, featuring the best Bulldog gifts and apparel. Shop all the great brands at the UGA Bookstore like Nike, Tommy Bahama, Vineyard Vines, and Southern Tide. The UGA Bookstore is the exclusive home of the UGA 10 Collection by Peter Millar. The UGA Bookstore in the heart of campus next to the Tate Student Center. Shop online 24-7 at ugabookstore.com. The UGA Bookstore, it's where dogs shop. You're listening to Georgia football. Over the shoulder catch at the 10, 5, touchdown, right down the sea. Now back to the Napa Tailgate Show. So now here they come. We get it away. End over end kick. Tech back. Oh, they fumbled it. And we picked it up, and I think we've recovered it. Touchdown. Off the bounce, they muffed it. We chased it down. I think it was Campbell again. Tyson Campbell, the gunner, I think, has recovered it in the end zone for the touchdown. Hey, welcome back to our uh, tailgate show, our coverage of Georgia football as we continue to uh, march towards the opening kick, the season opener, Georgia and Arkansas here in Fayetteville, Razorback Stadium. Got a chance to catch up here with Coach Kirby Smart. And Coach, at this point, as we, you know, we're still a little bit away from the kick, you know, what are you going through mentally? Or do you have a checklist that you go down that uh, you you got to make a mark here, got to make a mark here for all the things you still have to do before you uh, you hit the field? Yeah, most of it now is uh, the, the prep is all done. This is more mental prep for myself and our staff, being organized, making good decisions on game day, giving the – the players a chance to be successful as we make decisions. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your opponent today as we take a look at the Arkansas Razorbacks. Uh, how much unknown is there floating around with this team? Well, a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Uh, you know, I certainly think Sam's very familiar with our team and our program, and we're probably not as familiar with theirs having not played them every year. And then you throw in the fact that they've had some transfers, some new coaches. Uh, we don't we don't even know from a COVID standpoint who's in and out until we go out for pregame warmups. So for us, it's a it's 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 a it's a chess match because you're trying to write down in pen and paper who who's penciled in who the starters are because nobody really knows. That's an interesting point you you make because that's a that's a new rule in the SEC this year during pregame. The players have to wear some sort of uh, jersey identifier or number identifier, correct? Yes, that's uh, a rule they came up with. Um, I, I don't know that that had anything to do with COVID because I, I don't really don't know where. No, that I don't think it from. did. Right, it's just they, they wanted 
players have to identify themselves and who they were. And I think they really had taken a lot of precautions for some of the extracurricular activities that go on uh, before games with players from uh, you know teams going out and meeting and saying stuff to each other. So they're just trying to make sure they can identify who everybody is, I guess. Uh, but for us, you know, it's always pregame warm We figure out who's out there, who's playing, and uh, get ready to go play them. Is that a time when both coaches are watching the field to, to see who's available and uh, who's on the trip, and you do a little scouting before the before the kickoff? Yeah, and that's mostly the uh, support staff does all that, not the primary coaches. But you've got a checklist of uh, trying to you know figure out who's going to be where, and that's uh, support staff role. What are some of your concerns about uh, this Arkansas team that you'll see today? Well, you know, the unknown is probably the biggest concern, not knowing, uh, you know, what identity are they going to create? Do they have the players to play the style of play they had at their coordinator's last position? So in our prep, you know, we've tried to prepare for what we've seen on tape, but that doesn't always match up. You know, every coordinator uses his personnel that he has, and um, that's the hardest part is not knowing are they going to be able to play the Missouri-style defense? Are they going to be able to play the Florida State-style offense? And that's the hardest part. We do know offensively they're going to go really fast, and they're going to try to create um, confusion and issues, not let us get our cleats in the ground, and we got to go play fast regardless of that. Felipe Franks expected to be the, the quarterback for uh, Arkansas today, the Florida transfer. You certainly are familiar with him. Yeah, I've known Felipe a long time. I actually recruited him when I was in Alabama and know the area he's from and uh, very talented young player and I guess he's not young anymore. He's now old. Seems like he's been around there forever. Uh, but I've known Felipe for a long time. He's got an extremely strong arm, uh, really tough physical presence as a runner, um, and he's got a lot of experience in this league. What are your thoughts on Arkansas's uh, receivers? They've got a pretty good group there. Well, yeah, they've got some big wide outs. You know, Trey Knox is one of the guys that had a big year last year in our conference. The, the slot receiver, uh, Burks, is a returner, uh, kickoff and punt returner. He's big, extremely physical, really good skill players in terms of uh, being able to catch 50-50 balls. And Boyd in the backfield, a 1,000-yard rusher from last season. Is he a handful? Yeah, he's one of the back, best backs in the league, and uh, he's proven that year in and year out. Um, a, a really tough, hard runner, um, gets yards after contact, and uh, we'll have to tackle well, which is always a big concern in the first game to hem him up. Defensively, they gave up a lot of points per game last season, but as you pointed out, they've got a new coaching staff. Barry Odom's the new uh, defensive coordinator, the former Missouri head coach, and do you think they'll be able to shore up that defense a little bit? Yeah, Barry's done that anywhere he's been. He's a very passionate, energetic coach. He did a great job at Missouri, especially with their defensive units. And uh, I know he'll do the same in Arkansas. Coach, thanks very much for your time. Good luck. We'll catch up with you in just a little bit. Thanks, Scott. All right, that's Coach Kirby Smart. And, Hondo, we'll send it back to you for more of the Bulldogs Tailgate Show. All right, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Coach. Time now to check where the dogs rank. Presented by Northside Hospital, our Bulldogs are number four in this week's AP poll. The Northside Hospital Cardiovascular Institute is committed to your good health and the health of your family. Our physicians treat heart disease with the latest testing and technology. At Northside, they're all about excellence at heart. To schedule an appointment, call 404-962-6000 or visit northsidecvi.com and let the healing begin. A sweet combo for you today, Georgia and Arkansas in the season opener. And a classic Larry Munson highlight in less than 10 minutes on the Bulldog Sports Network. These days I'm spending a lot more time at home, which means I need ways to easily control my comfort. And here's an insider tip. If you're a Georgia Power residential customer, you may be eligible for up to a $75 instant rebate on a smart thermostat. Here's how. Georgia Power's online marketplace features thermostats from brands like Google Nest, Honeywell, and Ecobee as well as a variety of LEDs and smart home products like smart speakers, Wi-Fi routers, indoor cameras, and more. Just visit the site and start shopping. Shop now at georgiapowermarketplace.com. Dogs fans in Athens, we have two important rules. Support local business and cheer on the Georgia Bulldogs. This season, we'd like to thank our official hometown team partners for their support of Georgia Athletics, Georgia's Cotton Farmers, Gainesville Mechanical, Homewood Suites by Hilton Athens, and Longhorn Steakhouse in Athens. Learn more about how you can support these great local partners by finding the hometown team partners ad in the digital game program on georgiadogs.com. Support our hometown team partners and you'll support the dogs. This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. 
I'm Monty Watson, UGA alum and chairman and CEO of the Piedmont Bank. As a banker, I know numbers, and the numbers that matter most to us Georgia fans are the numbers that are on the scoreboard when the clock runs out. But in business, there's no scoreboard and the clock never stops. That's why at Piedmont Bank, banking is more than the numbers. Our business customers know they're ranked number one, and that means we never stop helping them reimagine their businesses in Georgia and beyond. Get to know us today at piedmont.bank slash UGA. And most importantly, go dogs. The Walton Gas Champions for Charity game is on. That means every time the dogs win a regular season game, Walton Gas will donate $1,000 to these local charities. Camp Twin Lakes, the Salvation Army, the Children's Health Care of Atlanta. And for every bowl game the dogs win, Walton Gas will donate $5,000. Everyone wins with Walton Gas. Always low rates, always great service. Put your game face on and be a champion for charity. Vote for the charity of your choice at waltongas.com slash UGA. The dogs play here. Wow! Power straight ahead. Touchdown! You're listening to the Napa Tailgate Show. Second down from the 16 of Baylor. Prompt to throw into the end zone. And sliding grab. They say touchdown Landers. Matt Landers went to the turf right in front of the goalpost. And they say he caught it. No Mo Jake Fromm, though. We'll see uh, just who will be QB1 for the Bulldogs at 401 today as number four Georgia tees it up with Arkansas from Fayetteville. Scott Howard, Eric Zier, Chuck Dowdle with your play by play and analysis uh, later this afternoon. Right now on our Napa Tailgate Show, here's Lauren Smith. Lauren. Welcome. My guest is the Jay Reed Parker Director of Athletics, Greg McGarity. Uh, Greg, the uh, virus, the dastardly virus, something we. Never thought we'd ever have to go through. But the latest, looks like we've done well up to this point on the eve of the uh, Arkansas game. But unofficial status, where are we? Well, we had really a great report this week, Lauren, from the university uh, where we were down to 134 uh, reports of of positive virus on our campus, which is really, really good news. It's really trending the right way. But really the message, Lauren, is is that we can't rest on our laurels uh, as far as that good week. We've got to stack a number of good weeks together throughout the fall because we want to keep playing football. And it's important for not only our student athletes, but it's important for the fans that come to our game. And we're just asking them to really pay attention to everything we're asking them to do as far as distancing, wearing masks to and from your seat. Um, and making sure you're sitting in seats that have been designated by the Athletic Association, which will be very clear to see. But we want to remind everyone that uh, we need their help to make sure everything works as well as possible. Two people we want to talk about first, Kirby Smart. Uh, he obviously has developed a nice rapport and has really done a good job with his communication with his players so that's a big help to have a coach really on board with what you need to do well Lauren I know these young men are very aware of the consequences uh, if they venture uh, off the path of safety with COVID related issues Uh, these young men are tested three times a week uh, so there's a uh, you can't skip by this. In other words, uh, you're going to get caught if you're uh, positive. And I know these young men, they certainly don't want to miss one game, maybe two games if they test positive. So uh, they've done a great job of listening. The coaches have done a great job of educating. Uh, Ron Corson sort of been the MVP for athletics uh, during this time. But our young men know the consequences and Uh, We'll see that across the league. It's very difficult to manage, but so far so good, and I'm really proud of uh, the work our young men and women have done because it also affects soccer and volleyball, which cranks up here uh, in the middle of October. Well, Ron Corson was my next person to uh, offer a salute to. Not only does he get high marks working with you, working with uh, the president on our own campus, he's highly regarded nationally. What's the value of his influence, leadership, and medical knowledge? Well, Arnis, uh, he's just invaluable. Uh, he is so well regarded in the profession, probably at the top of the list as far as people that 
uh, understand uh, and respect his efforts for student wellness uh, has nothing to do with a competitive advantage. I mean, he's had to make some tough decisions and community that communicated that to coaches and student athletes that they may not like, but he cares about the welfare. His first goal is is to make sure that our young people are taken care of in times of distress when they have injuries. Um, he's committed to the rehabilitation of those, not only uh, during their career at Georgia, but certainly after their eligibility expires. But he has the respect of everyone because he tells it like it is. Yes, indeed. Uh, Greg McGarrett is here, Reed Parker, Director of Athletics. And I'd like to remind everybody that he and I conducted this interview both wearing our masks, so you should remember to do the same <laughs> wherever you go in Sanford Stadium next week. We go back over to Neil. All right, thank you, Lauren. Thanks to Greg McGarrity, and welcome back to our Scanna Studios. A Larry Munson Classic call is right around the corner. The Bulldogs team has arrived here at the stadium in Fayetteville. Time for you to ice down those beverages. Keep it tuned to the Bulldog Sports Network. I'm attorney Ken Nugent, and I'm here with legendary Georgia Bulldog quarterback and radio host Buck Ballou. Ken and I are teaming up to give back to the brave men and women of our military. Ken's going to donate $500 to one member of the military every Bulldog football game this season. If you're a member of the military in Atlanta, go to attorneykennugent.com to enter. And somebody's going to win $500 every game. One click. That's it. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Work. Love getting prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh? Then shop at Kroger. We give you more ways to save on the fresh you love with tools like the Kroger app, where you can find personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, giving you prices that are lower than the everyday low. Kroger, fresh for everyone. And now you'll find more ways to save on your favorites. When you download digital coupons, you can use up to five times in one transaction. Kroger. Fresh for everyone. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. At BMW, we made the ultimate range of SAVs. And because each of the seven X-Range sports activity vehicles flawlessly balance dynamic power, spacious size, and sleek design, you can choose from a fleet that fits perfectly into your life. Like the versatile and bold X1, the unbelievably powerful X3, or the luxurious X7. No matter who you are, no matter where you're going, no matter what's next, there's an X to take you there. Proud sponsor of Georgia Athletics is at BMWATL.com for great offers. Go dogs. Hey, football fans, some of us may be cheering from home this season. You've got the big TV and game time snacks, but no room to cheer. No sweat. You've got options. When you work with Rocket Mortgage, you see all your options right up front. From down payments to closing costs, you know what fits your budget. So if you need a home big enough for your whole team, Rocket can. Get started at rocketmortgage.com. Rocket Mortgage, proud supporter of college athletics. Call for cost information and conditions equal housing lender licensed in all 50 states and MLSConsumerAccess.org number 3030. sugar falling out of the sky. We just stepped on their face with a hobnail boot and broke their nose. Georgia football history through the voice of a legend. My God almighty, did you see what he did? Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. You talk about a stupid miracle. Here's another listen back to Larry Munson's greatest calls. Presented by Northside Hospital Atlanta with decades of experience performing both routine and complex surgeries. Northside Hospital leads Georgia in surgery innovation. Learn more at northside.com slash surgery. Georgia's ball in the 47. Arkansas bringing people up. Threatening blitz with Shire. Toss sweep to Hurst. Going to run an end around reverse to Hastings. Got blocking 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. Hastings going down a long sideline. Touchdown, Andre. Hastings on a reverse. He blocked by Allen Mellon. Alec Millen threw a big block. Hastings stayed a foot inside. One of Dick Payne's famous plays, an end around reverse. 53 yards, Hastings streaking down the left side. And the dogs suddenly go 23 to 7. 
1991 Independence Bowl. Andre Hastings with the carry and the red and black with the win over Arkansas. Same two teams square off today here in Fayetteville. Dogs fans, the official Georgia football game program has gone fully digital and is now free to access. The paperback game program is no longer offered, so log on to georgiadogs.com slash digital to get everything you need to know heading into today's matchup against Arkansas. That's georgiadogs.com slash digital. You're tuned to the Napa Tailgate Show. Eric Zier will give us the lowdown on the dogs' defense in the next 10 minutes. Plus, our Ken Nugent call of the week is two minutes away on the Bulldogs Sports Network. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Learn more at MasseyFerguson.us. See the newly redesigned Massey Ferguson GC1700 and 1700M Series today. Napa know-how. Get all the quality parts you need at your locally owned Napa. Because right now, when you order from Napa online, you can pick up curbside at your local store in just 30 minutes. Or get your order delivered direct to your door with free one-day shipping and over 160,000 quality parts when you spend $35 or more. Quality parts delivered quickly and safely. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. At participating stores, standard ground shipping and exclusions apply. This is Georgia Bulldogs football, sponsored by Progressive's Home Insurance. Get your quote at Progressive.com today. Your heart begins to heal the moment you choose Northside Hospital Cardiovascular Institute for your care. We've added a team of the nation's very best cardiovascular doctors to one of the top community hospitals in the country. With their leading expertise and the powerful resources of the Northside Network, our doctors get to the very heart of your needs. Because bringing the best possible care to Georgia is at the heart of everything we do. Northside Hospital Cardiovascular Institute. Excellence at heart. Hey, it's your homie. Sorry, it's your home. I know you don't like it when I call myself your homie. (laughs) Um, So I have some favors to ask you. Could you get rid of a few chairs in the living room? My floorboards are tired. Another easy thing, we could save money if you bundled your home and car insurance with GEICO. One more thing. I know you love lavender-scented candles, but could we try Tahitian vanilla? I think it would fit my vibe better. GEICO. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com today. It's game day for the Dogs. Throw into the end zone. Oh, touchdown Pickens! Touchdown Pickens! Back right corner. Let's rejoin the Napa Auto Parts Tailgate Show. This moment of commitment is brought to you by Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. Always the home team. The University of Georgia is committed to tackling the grand challenges of our time. Our researchers are working to improve human health, create a more secure future, and build stronger communities. We're driven to making discoveries that bring solutions to improve our world for generations to come. It's more than our mission. It's more than our passion. It's our commitment. Ball's on the 13. We pitch it right to Zeus. Zeus towards the end zone. Did he get there? Yeah, he fights off a green shirt and gets into the end zone, powers his way across the goal line in front of the right pylon. That was today's Make the Call presented by Ken Nugent. One call, that's all. Zamir White against Baylor, and we hope that Zeus gets it going this year the way he did against Baylor in the Sugar Bowl back in January, 92 yards on the ground for Zamir White. Scott Aaron Lorig, uh, Scott Eric, Lauren, and your old buddy Hondo here on the Napa Tailgate Show. And and uh, Lauren Smith, you wanted to talk about uh, Sam Pittman, our old friend who's now the head coach here at Arkansas. Yeah, I had a couple of nice visits with him in the spring. And uh, even with COVID, had a chance to see his enthusiasm uh, to be a head coach. And he's certainly a fit here for Arkansas. One of the reasons they wanted to hire him was because He's a terrific recruiter in Arkansas. If you coach at Arkansas, you have to recruit out of state. 
So they're all excited about him. He and his wife, Jamie, I talked to her twice this week. And he's a tremendous recruiter, fundamentally sound football coach. But, Neil, I'd have to say that Matt Luke, Kirby Smart, went out and hired a terrific replacement. Mm -hmm. It's sort of be like replacing Mickey Mantle in your lineup with Willie Mays. Oh, or so. Joe DiMaggio with Mickey Mantle, which the Yankees <laughs> actually did. So uh, we, we hate to see Sam go, but, boy, are we happy to have Matt Luke. That's fantastic. And a couple of uh, highlights last week. Uh, David Pollock, Katrina Harris, Ray Lamb, Tony Barnhart were elected to the State of Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. Oh. And then uh, Lisa uh, Spain Short has just been elected to the ITA Women's Collegiate Hall of Fame just a few days ago. And then we lost two men VP uh, contributors in our state in the last fortnight, Bobby Pope, former AD at Mercer, longtime sports director at WMAZ, passed away. And then Garland Pinholz, who's a great coach, at Oglethorpe, and I remember about Garland, he wrote years ago, we can't definitive to say who came up with the jump shot, but he gets credit of being one who might have invented the uh, uh, the uh, jump shot. And i got to thank Chris Davis, who got me out here, and uh, he had surgery this week, got to go home on his 27th wedding anniversary and uh, with his wife, Teresa, so thanks, Milton. I think so, Chris, I wouldn't have Made it without you. All right. Very good, Lauren. Thank you very much. And I uh, want to take a moment to wish the best to our Jewish members of the Bulldog Nation celebrating their holy days this weekend. Eric Zier's taking the Bulldogs. Eight returning defensive starters coming up in two minutes. This is the Napa Tailgate Show. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how from your Scana studios. You're tuned to the Bulldog Sports Network. Reviews and game day information heading into the upcoming season. And be sure to log on to georgiadogs.com to download the 2020 Georgia Football Digital Fan Guide. Get everything you need to know heading into the season at georgiadogs.com. I'm John Addison, a lifetime Bulldog fan, Georgia graduate, and the chairman of Distribution for Primerica, the largest independent financial services marketing company in North America. Primerica is a Main Street company for Main Street families. We help people from all walks of life achieve their goals and dreams by offering common sense financial solutions to today's challenges. As a Georgia-based company, Primerica is proud to continue to sponsor Georgia football. Go Dawgs! The official Georgia football game program has gone fully digital and is now free to access. The paperback game program is no longer offered. So log on to georgiadogs.com slash digital to get everything you need to know heading into this week's matchup against Arkansas. georgiadogs.com slash digital. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. This is Hondo for Engineered Solutions of Georgia, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. If you have cracks in your interior walls, foundation walls, or water in your basement, ESOG can help you come up with a solution. Six, seven, ESOG now. I've spent so much time around my house lately, I've counted the number of bricks on my home. Neil Hondo Williamson here for my friends at Breda Pest Management. You know what I don't see in my yard? Fire ants or mosquitoes. As the official pest control of your Georgia Bulldogs, Breda Pest Management keeps my home bug and critter free. Let Breda protect your home like they protect Sanford Stadium. Breda Pest Management, B-R-E-D-A Pest.com. Breda, Breda, no need to be afraid of. At Zaxby's, chicken and delicious go hand in hand. As in hand breaded, hand seasoned, and handmade to order. There's only one place you can get chicken like that. Zaxby's. Welcome back to the Napa Auto Parts tailgate show. In the pocket, nowhere to go. We got a sack it. We sack it for a big loss, and the ball goes over on down. Here again is Neil Hondo Williamson. Fourth down and four from the 46. There's the snap. Brewer in the pocket. Pressure from behind. He'll go down. We sacked him. I think the ball may have come loose. Dogs are going to have it anyway. Nicobe Dean came around from behind. Aziz Ojolari. 
Aziz and the Georgia defense wreaking havoc on Baylor when we last saw our Bulldogs suit up. Good news, the dogs are back in action today from Arkansas. Welcome back to the Napa Tailgate Show. We've got Eric Zier joining us, and we've spent a lot of time talking about the offense today. Lots of questions as we break in nine new starters and a new scheme. Defense, we've got to hope the dogs don't read their press clippings too closely. I mean, you'll hear it all the time. Uh, don't don't let that blow your heads up, stuff like that. Um, we just we just work as hard as as uh, we as we do every day. So uh, there's no kind of special treatment in, in what we did last year. They still attack it as if we we weren't that good, and and we have to get better. That's Georgia linebacker Jermaine Johnson. Z. Hardest thing to do in, in the game of sports, any sport that you play, is follow up on success. And the dogs were so good last year. Uh, one of the top defenses in the in the country. Uh, no question what this coaching staff is, is doing is drilling into this team day in and day out that this unit hasn't done anything yet. That was last year's team. We've got to go out and improve on our improve on what we did last year. Get better every single day. We've got talent galore. We've got depth galore everywhere. You mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, Hondo, that this defense doesn't really need to improve on last year's performance. They just need to stay the same. And if they do, it's a defense that can take us to, to heights that uh, very few teams ever get to. We can win uh, SEC championships with this kind of defensive unit, we can win national championships. But they've got to go out and execute every single day. They can't look backwards. It's got to be about what I do today. And there's so much depth. I mean, we've talked about it, and Georgia fans who, who follow the team closely realize that we have so many guys coming back who have played so many snaps. And in this day and age of almost always five DBs on the field, uh, quite often six, and we've seen seven. I mean, we hold last year against Joe Burrow. Would we start eight? Sure. Eight DBs uh, against LSU, as Auburn had done and, and, and played well against LSU. Having that much depth and being able to load up in certain positions, certainly a big help. Yeah, especially in this year when conditioning is going to be in question as well and, and week in and week out with, with different COVID protocols and who's actually going to be on the field and who's not going to be on the field. Having that depth of talent is critically important and, and being able to shuffle guys in and out and get second waves and third waves of guys into football games critically important and the dogs are deep everywhere we're deep in the secondary with guys that have played substantial amounts of snaps they've been under the bright lights of sec football they played in big games same thing at at, at, the, at our linebacker positions really across the board this defensive unit is loaded Something I asked you a couple of weeks ago with a different listening audience, with all these big, fast, rangy linebacker types, and again, the spread offenses that we're going to see, certainly going to see it today, right, with Kendall Bryles and, and the group that he's got here at Arkansas, uh, do you expect us to see more amoeba-type defenses? Yeah, I, I think it's a reality, especially when you get in third and long situations. And you know, we've, we've seen Felipe Franks in, in years past. When you can make – Franks move his feet get him out of of the pocket where he can't stand just statuesque in a clean pocket there he can hurt you you get him on the move you create confusion uh, he can he's going to turn the football over he loses his accuracy we, we've seen it now for three years in a game like today if we can get into third and long situations when you've got guys like Nolan Smith, Jermaine Johnson, uh, Aziz Ojolari, Adam Anderson, Walter Grant. I can keep going mm -hmm. and, and going to be able to get those guys on the on the field where you don't have uh, three or four people with their hands in the ground. It creates confusion. That's the quickest way to get to the quarterbacks, uh, and you do that especially against this quarterback today that is very talented. But you get him on the move, you get him a little bit confused, he could be a, a detriment to the Arkansas offense and throw us the football a couple of times, uh, which is exactly what we want to see. All right, nice job, Eric, as always. Game plan in 10 minutes? Love to. Okay, good. Z will be back, Scott Howard, and he will bring you the call of today's SEC clash between number four Georgia and Arkansas. Scott's up next. We'll hear from Coach Kirby Smart as well, twice between now and kickoff at 4.01 on the Bulldog Sports Network. 
Your heart begins to heal the moment you choose Northside Hospital Cardiovascular Institute for your care. We've added a team of the nation's very best cardiovascular doctors to one of the top community hospitals in the country. With their leading expertise and the powerful resources of the Northside Network, our doctors get to the very heart of your needs. Because bringing the best possible care to Georgia is at the heart of everything we do. Northside Hospital Cardiovascular Institute. Excellence at heart. Angela and I have big plans for 2020. A new stamp in our passports, maybe a bathroom renovation. We definitely didn't expect to be worried about our income. When life takes you out of one comfort zone, your Regents Banker has helpful tools and advice to help you find a new one. It's a relief to have a plan for whatever comes next. Make your financial plan at regents.com slash brave the beginning. Regents Bank, member FDIC, official bank of the SEC. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. At Zaxby's, there's nothing better than hand-breaded chicken, unless it's hand-breaded chicken with sauce. From sweet to savory, mild to wild, even that world-famous Zax sauce. Whatever you're craving, we've got the sauce at Zaxby's. Glory. Glory to old Georgia. The dogs are unleashed, and so are the savings. Scana Energy is a proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. So sing, cheer, and put on your red and black in honor of our team. Celebrate the dog's journey to glory this football season with Scana Energy by calling 877-GO-SCANA or visiting scanaenergy.com to save. Dogs fans want exclusive access to season previews and game day information heading into the upcoming season? Then be sure to log on to georgiadogs.com to download the 2020 Georgia Football Digital Fan Guide. Get everything you need to know heading into the season at georgiadogs.com. It's game day, and the dogs are ready to eat. Rejoin the Napa Tailgate Show. Zamir White in the backfield. Brom will fake and throw. Wide open. Touchdown! Touchdown, Charlie Warner! The first of his career! Good to see our friend Charlie Warner get some minutes with the 49ers last week. Very happy to see that. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bulldog Sports Network. From our Scana broadcast booth, the Napa Tailgate Show marches towards the SEC opener for Georgia and Arkansas. And the voice of the dog, Scott Howard, back for his 28th season on football is back with us. And where have the years gone, my friend? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. It's been a lot of fun, though. It's been a ton of fun indeed. We're in Arkansas to kick off the new season. Coach Smart was asked earlier this week about the biggest change to road games in 2020. The biggest change is that, that everyone going on the trip will have been tested multiple, multiple times, three times in a game week, including possibly one the day of travel. So that's the most unique thing. So they're trying to weed out anyone being in the travel party that would have COVID. Can you 100% do that? No, but we can come as accurate as possible. Interesting. And Neil... I mean, that's that, that depth and conditioning and all of that's going to play a factor today, certainly. And, and Georgia's already, we're finding out as the team is warming up, we've got special teams guys out there. We're already down a kicker today. Uh, so that's <laughs> that could play into, uh, into the situation. Um, so Georgia's got, they've got uh, some backups on the roster today. So we brought two punters. Uh, we've got two place kickers out there and two snappers, but we're down one. Um, so we'll see how that factors in. And we may, as the game goes along, because we're not necessarily uh, given this information, we may find out that that's the case with some other positions on both teams. Well, if you have to bring two punters, two kickers, two snappers, it means you can't bring some other guys. And has anybody in all their wisdom, you know, we, we get capped in the SEC at 70 players on the travel roster. Yeah. Have you heard anybody float the idea of maybe this year you expand that to 80? I asked Kirby about that on, on the talk show Thursday night, and he said that the idea did come up. 
but apparently didn't get a lot of traction, uh, which I find surprising. I, I thought everybody might be on board with that, yeah. just given the circumstances. All right, we got a, a little bit deeper well to, to go to in case you have a problem. Uh, but it didn't fly, so the visiting team still – just can bring 70 for an SEC game. That's nuts. Okay, we know about uh, 18,000 tickets or so have been distributed for today's game. So will noise on the road still be a problem? I don't know that we have a complete grasp of that. We know what they're allowed to use in terms of decibels, and we've practiced with that noise amount. Um, we practice from time to time with music and different things on just to change it up and try to get used to used to and acclimated um, to those things. So we understand the rules of what you're allowed to pump in prior to a snap. Um, don't really know how to gauge what that number of people might actually uh, be able to create. And there is a cap on, on how loud the, the fake noise, not the fake news, but the fake noise <laughs> can be piped into the stadium. And we were hearing them uh, kind of rehearse that earlier today when there was no one in the stadium. The teams weren't even here yet and they were rehearsing the, the, the crowd noise over the, the big PA system. Uh, it wasn't overly loud, but it does give some ambiance in the stadium. Uh, we'll have expected, what, around 17, 18,000? About 18,000, Somewhere around there today. Yep. That'll make a little bit of noise, and, uh, you know, it won't be overwhelming, but uh, I think it'll be enough uh, to where if you're here and you're, you're hearing that, it, it'll sound semi-normal. All right, very good. Scott, looking forward to your call. Thank you. All right, uh, let's check some scores for you from out of town. Look at Kansas State rallying back against third-ranked Oklahoma. Sooners were up by 21 in that one. Now the uh, lead for Oklahoma is only a touchdown, 35-28. OU is leading Kansas State. A lot of time to play, 12-28 to go in the fourth quarter in that one. Florida, Kyle Trask is having a heck of a day, and uh, the Gators are rolling over Ole Miss in Oxford, 44-29 to right now. They are midway through the fourth quarter. Also in the fourth quarter, Kentucky tried, but uh, they ended up um, giving up a lot to Auburn, really, in the second half. It's been Tigers uh, all the way after the break. Auburn leading 29-13. to They have just five minutes to play in the fourth quarter there. And you've got Georgia Tech playing at Syracuse and the Orange with a 23-13 to lead, 4.02 to play in the third in that one. Scott will be back with Coach Kirby Smart and the inside skinny. That's in about 20 minutes. And Eric Zier is next with today's game plan on the Bulldogs Sports Network. This is head coach Kirby Smart. It's my job to coach the fundamentals of football and prepare my guys for the future. Well, my friends at Southeast Mortgage are preparing you for your future by becoming a homeowner. Every Bulldog deserves a home. If you're in the market to purchase or refinance, I trust Southeast Mortgage to provide the best experience and get it done. Visit southeastmortgage.com slash UGA to get pre-approved for your home loan today. Southeast Mortgage, the official home loan lender of the Georgia Bulldogs. Southeast Mortgage of Georgia Incorporated, NMLS, number 103956. Georgia Residential Mortgage License, number 6578. Just when you think you've seen it all, here comes Fast and Easy Buy from Athens Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. The fastest, easiest way to buy your next new car, truck, or SUV. I'm talking sub 4 340 fast. Pick your vehicle, pick your financing, and then pick it up. Now that's fast. Shop from your phone, your computer, anywhere. Fast and Easy Buy from Athens Dodge. 4145 Atlanta Highway or AthensDCJR.com. Ram Power Days. This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. At Subway Restaurants, deals are delicious. And right now, you can choose from two great deals on delicious meals. Get a 6-inch cold-cut combo, spicy Italian, or black forest ham, plus chips and a 20-ounce drink for just $6. Or choose a 6-inch chicken and bacon ranch melt, sweet onion chicken teriyaki, or steak and cheese, plus chips and a 20-ounce drink for just $7. Either way, you get a great deal on a delicious meal, only at Subway Restaurants. Limited time only at participating restaurants. Additional charge for extras, plus applicable tax. No additional discounts or coupons may be applied. These days, I'm spending a lot more time at home, which means I need ways to easily control my comfort. And here's an insider tip. If you're a Georgia Power residential customer, you may be eligible for up to a $75 instant rebate on a Spark thermostat. Here's how. Georgia Power's online marketplace features thermostats from brands like Google Nest, Honeywell, and Ecobee, as well as a variety of LEDs and smart home products like Spark speakers, Wi-Fi routers, indoor cameras, and more. Just visit the site and start shopping. Shop now at georgiapowermarketplace.com.
We're counting you down to kickoff for the inside track on today's game. 28, 20, 10, 5, give it 6, touchdown! Here's more from the crew on the Napa Tailgate Show. In the backfield, giving the ball, they run a flea flicker. We're going to go deep to Pickens. He makes the catch at the 24, tackled at the 15, maybe the 14-yard line. Today's game plan is brought to you by Country Financial. Don't get overwhelmed. Get started at countryfinancial.com. Georgia has a new offensive coordinator for the second time in two years and for the fifth time in seven seasons. It wasn't too difficult just to learn the playbook because it's like we had enough time on the offseason just to be able to look at it, like we, like learning through the Zooms, being able to like look at the PDL, so the players that we have going in for this year. I mean, it's very simple and exciting because it's like it's something new for all of us. That's Georgia receiver Kiaris Jackson. Eric Zier back with us. And, Z, how limited will offensive coordinator Todd Monken have to be with his playbook here out of the gate? Yeah, Hondo, I, I think even – if we had a full in a normal offseason, we'd still be limited in this football game because the implementation of a brand new uh, offense with all the different complexities that that brings, even with a, a full slate offseason, you're going to, to introduce different concepts as you go through the season. Uh, it, it's absolutely going to be watered down some uh, here today. You've got uh, quarterbacks that are going to be new to the system, really inexperienced within SEC play, regardless of who goes in. They're probably going to be Dwan Mathis uh, 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 that's going to be taking snaps initially here today uh, in, the, in the guy at the range. So uh, zero experience playing underneath the lights of SEC football. Uh, you, you haven't been able to go through reps and get that muscle memory. Uh, so I think it's going to be a truncated offense today. I think we're going to go lean uh, on this, this running game. Uh, we will have concepts of it introduced obviously uh, and when you look at what we did last year I think even even a limited uh, Todd Munkin offense is going to add some wrinkles that we haven't seen here for a year so still excited to see what we've got but I don't think we'll see this full playbook until we get uh, into the month of October deeper into the month of October and into November well there's a common thought out there that early in the season teams should run the ball maybe a bit more because of the timing between quarterbacks and receivers may not be as keen um, what do you think the game plan for the dogs should be against the Hogs? Yeah, I, I think that's exactly what it is. I, I think that we've got to go out, play to the strengths of this offense. Uh, if, if you're the quarterback of this football team, uh, leverage all the talent that you have around you. But the strength of this team, uh, it continues to be our offensive line. It's our running backs. Uh, and it is a defense that is, good, is as good as any in the country. You go do that, control the football, play smart football, you're going to be just fine. All right. On the other side of the ball, well, Arkansas coach Sam Pittman came out uh, when he came out here to Arkansas. Uh, one of the first things he did, he brought in Kendall Bryles as his, uh, his OC. And um, uh, are you expecting a track meet today against Arkansas with these guys opening up their offense and us with the new air raid offense? Uh, you know, if we were playing this football game in November, I would. Hmm. Right now, I don't because the same challenges that we've had with uh, implementing a brand new offense with new players uh, and where we're going to have to dip our toe in the water a little bit. I think the same holds true. And this Georgia defense is so strong that they, you would imagine, they are going to be ahead of most offenses, including this Arkansas offense that is relying on a talented quarterback but brand new into this system at a brand new school trying to learn teammates around him uh, and it's a team that has, has struggled on the offensive side of the ball uh, so today I, I don't think so I, I think that this Georgia defense can shut down Arkansas I think we'll have some success but it's going to be look more like success we've had in the past all right well the Razorbacks have their work cut out for them Arkansas ranked in the bottom 10 in the nation in total offense last year Averaging only 100, 340 yards and 21 points per game. They failed to score more than 24 points 10 times in 12 games in 2019. All right, thank you, Eric. Nice job. Coach Kirby Smart, less than 10 minutes away on the Napa Tailgate Show. We know you're out there just percolating. That's right, season opener. It hath arrived. We kick at 401 on the Bulldog Sports Network. Make your first play of the season a smart one. Get a fast and easy sports physical right around the corner from Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens. With 27 locations offering extended hours and most open seven days a week, you can book online to get in, get out, and get on your way to a championship year. Visit piedmont.org UGA to schedule a sports physical today. Patient care services provided by Piedmont Healthcare. Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens. One stop to better. 
Getting back to business means giving customers the confidence to walk through your doors. At Surf Pro, we're doing just that with certified Surf Pro Clean. Our proactive cleaning program helps reduce the spread of viral pathogens, adheres to CDC standards, and uses proprietary EPA approved disinfectants. Put the certified Surf Pro Clean Shield in your window and let customers know that you're committed to a higher standard of clean. For a free quote, call 1 800 Surf Pro or visit surfpro.com. Franchising are independently owned and operated. This is Georgia Football, brought to you by Indeed. Find the high-impact tire your business needs fast on Indeed. You'll find lots of great candidates and no long-term contracts at Indeed.com slash high-impact. I'm Monty Watson, UGA alum and chairman and CEO of the Piedmont Bank. As a banker, I know numbers, and the numbers that matter most to us Georgia fans are the numbers that are on the scoreboard when the clock runs out. But in business, there's no scoreboard and the clock never stops. That's why at Piedmont Bank, banking is more than the numbers. Our business customers know they're ranked number one, and that means we never stop helping them reimagine their businesses in Georgia and beyond. Get to know us today at piedmont.bank slash UGA. And most importantly, go dogs. In need of a new adventure? The best things happen outdoors, and it all starts with Gander RV. Did you know you can hit the road and see all of the sights America has to offer in a new 2021 RV for less than $5 a day? Plus, Gander RV has all your essential RV accessories to make sure you get the most out of your next trip. See America for less. Visit your local Gander RV off I-85 in Buford or online at GanderRV.com today. See dealer for full offer details. Offer expires 12-31-20. You're listening to Georgia Football. Over the shoulder catch at the 10, 5, touchdown, right down the sea. Now back to the Napa Tailgate Show. Hand off straight ahead, Samuel, big hole, Samuel 30, Samuel 40. Oh, he's going, he's going to take it to the house right now. 10, 5, touchdown. No flags. Oh, nice, Scott. Richard Samuel, 80-yard carry for the TD against Arkansas in 2009. Right here in Fayetteville, and we're back for our season opener. Napa Tailgate Show continues from our Scana press box at Reynolds Razorback Stadium. Scott Howard, Eric Zier, Lauren Smith, Tony Schiavone, Neil Williamson, Zach Jewell back in the studio. This is the 151st year of college football, and as Chandler Bing might implore, could it be any weirder? Personally, I had mixed emotions. One week, I'd be like, yeah, we plan. Then the next week, it's kind of like, man, I don't know. But now, I mean, just trusting the process, just praying every night. Georgia receiver Kiaris Jackson, I think we all had a secret prayer or a public one that we would see this day, man. Yeah, I'm with Kiaris on that one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get there or not, but especially in August and all the things that were happening. And, and then even in, in September when uh, when – games actually did begin and then you had games being postponed and moved around and well this opponent can't make it so this opponent's going to fill in and all that kind of stuff i didn't even know if we'd finish the month and and see this but thankfully uh, we did uh, and we have and it's a glorious day here in fayetteville and watching the teams warm up and uh, we're getting ready for some sec football and it was so it was so great to see Kirby Smart just make sure that everybody prepared for the eventuality of a season. He did not uh, backslide any. He took the position we hope to play and we're going to be prepared to play. So by doing that, I think we're as in as good a shape to play today as we possibly could have been. Yeah, and, and I just I feel good for all of the Bulldog Nation, really everybody in the, the South. Football in the South, it is a way of life. It is not just a game. It's not just a sport. It's not just entertainment. It really is a way of life. I feel great for the young men that are on the field right now. Uh, You work your entire life to get to the spot that these guys are uh, and and to have any of that stripped away uh, for things that are completely outside of your control really is tough to see. They've done a great job in preparing. Uh, they, they all are, are mentally ready for this. They've earned the right to be uh, out here. So excited for them, excited for the fans. I'm excited to be sitting in the booth with everybody, and I can't wait to get this thing kicked off here in about 45 minutes. Part of the old saying was that uh, in, in the deep south college football, 
is religion, and the holy day is Saturday. The Sabbath is Saturday, right? Everybody wants to see how Georgia's quarterback situation will play out. We know that whoever it is is not going to be a guy that sat there and played uh, in, in a lot of football games, especially at the SEC level, and we got to be able to manage that, and uh, we got to play to our strengths. Eric Zier, while rebuilding Arkansas, has been winless in the SEC for two consecutive seasons. We are staring down the barrel of Auburn, then Tennessee, then at Alabama as our next three opponents. How do you manage limited, experienced quarterbacks with a new coordinator and scheme but still prime the pump some for the wicked October stretch. Yeah, by, by doing exactly what Coach Kirby Smart just mentioned, you play to the strengths of your team. We've talked about it throughout the broadcast. We've got a great running game. Uh, we've got a an offensive line uh, that, again, should be one of the best in the country. We've got a defense that is one of the best in the country. Uh, play within yourself. Go through progressions. Uh, don't get outside of what this offense is designed to do. Week in and week out, we will introduce more concepts of this air raid offense, but we're not going to get away from what our DNA has been that has placed us up along with the nationally elite in college football. We're going to continue to run the football. We're going to continue to pound that rock. We're going to continue to take care of it and, and let our defense win football games. And week by week, we will introduce more concepts to get us a little bit more wide open, a little bit more explosive. All right, thank you, Z. At receiver, we know it's George Pickens leading the veterans. And then four highly touted freshmen of the four, Scott Howard. Who should our fans take a look at as the number one guy to maybe make an impact early? I think the guys, uh, the new guys in the rotation are likely uh, to be Jermaine Burton, a uh, freshman from California with an Atlanta background, and Marcus Rosamie Jack Saint are going to be the two guys that probably work their way into the rotation. Robinson. Uh, Robertson, excuse me, Jackson, Landers, and Pickens being the other four. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Great to have everybody here. Georgia and Arkansas, we kick off less than an hour. Coach Smart joins Scott next on the Bulldog Sports Network. Glory. Glory to old Georgia. The dogs are unleashed, and so are the Saviors. Scana Energy is a proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. So sing, cheer, and put on your red and black in honor of our team. Celebrate the dog's journey to glory this football season with Scana Energy by calling 877-GO-SCANA or visiting ScanaEnergy.com to save. This is Coach Kirby Smart. More than any other game, football is a combination of power, agility, and toughness, mental and physical. The same is true with the truck I drive, Ford F-150. Whether it's attacking the workday or the weekend, F-150 makes tough jobs look easy. That's why Ford F-Series is America's best-selling truck 43 years straight. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of UGA football. The Georgia Bulldogs and F-150, built Ford tough. Based on 2019 calendar year total sales. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Now more than ever, it's important to support our local businesses, whether it's your favorite pizza place or your neighborhood barber. That's why I'm a proud member of Georgia's Own Credit Union. Georgia's Own has been serving our local community for more than 85 years. Whether they are saving you money on a checking account or credit card or supporting the people, places, and teams that we've grown to love, Georgia's Own can't be beat. To learn more, visit their website at georgiazone.org. I'm Chuck Dowdle, and I'm one of Georgia's Own. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Learn more at MasseyFerguson.us. See the newly redesigned Massey Ferguson GC1700 and 1700M series today. Play here. Wow! Power straight ahead. Touchdown! You're listening to the Napa Tailgate Show. Hand off Swift. He's got space. He jitters outside. Oh, he jumped over a man. He got five more yards. At the 30, the tackler went low. And DeAndre said, see him going over the top. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. 
Welcome back to the Bulldogs Tailgate Show with the Coach Smart here as we get a little bit closer to a kickoff. It's time for the Inside Skinny with the Coach, presented by Caterpillar. Our solutions help our customers build a better world. Georgia and Arkansas, moments away here from uh, getting started the uh, the 2020 season. A little bit late uh, getting started in the month of September, but uh, it's here. We're certainly glad it is. And Coach, how's your week been in your preparations, your final preparations uh, for today's game? It's been good. Uh, kids are excited to go play somebody other than themselves and I'm excited to go watch them do it and uh, I know our guys are are fired up I think it'll be um, unique to have the the stands maybe not as full as what we're we're used to but uh, I know our guys won't care what bit they're ready to go play are your game week preparations different from uh, the previous week as you're leading up to to an opening not really. I mean, we have a little more time to prepare. We, we we take the extra time to recover a little bit. So we started earlier than a game week, and uh, we, we tried to uh, recover some here on the back end of the week. Um, but, you know, it, it, every week after this one will be shortened because it really is a quick turnaround. You've had to answer the quarterback question a lot for the last several weeks. I'll throw it out there for you. What is that situation here as we uh, approach kickoff? Yeah, we've got really three or four guys that we really think are very capable. They've had great camps. Uh, they've each gone with the ones at some point in time. Their leadership has shown through, and they've supported each other. And we've had uh, really good communication with them about handling things the right way and pulling for each other and helping each other because they've all got different strengths. So I'm excited to see them play today. Possible to see multiple guys at that position today? Anything is possible. you got to keep them guessing, right? got to keep them guessing. What are some of the things that have, that have pleased you about this team that you've seen uh, in, your, in your preparations and your workouts uh, leading up to today? Their response to what we've asked. I mean, they respond uh, when things don't go well. They respond well, and uh, when things when we have a bad practice or we say, "Hey, we got to work on this," you can you can see them put the effort into uh, what we what we demand of them, and I appreciate that. They respond to the criticism that we've given them. Is this a mature group of players? Well, it is at some positions. <laughs> it's not at all positions. I mean, overall, it's hard to say you're ever going to have a mature team anymore because so many guys come out early, so many guys leave, they're not playing. So you're, you're constantly dealing with a young roster, but that's that's the same for everybody. What are some of the strengths that you've seen uh, from offense or defensive side of the ball in the last couple of weeks? Well, I, I've loved the energy. Um, we, we got a really good fun group to coach on defense it just seems like there's some you know some fourth year seniors that that, that may not be uh first round picks but they're really good football players and they love football when you look across the line there and you see uh, monty rice uh, uh richard LeCount, malik herring they, they, they really love the game of football they enjoy playing the game of football and that's fun to coach guys like that they're a joy to work with each day you got a lot of experience on that defense. A lot of guys back, as you just pointed out. And we, we heard from Monty earlier in the week, and he was talking about you kind of like to poke him a little bit about uh, being a good defense. Hey, number one defense just allowed a touchdown. You know, motivational tactics. So you have some fun with these guys. Oh, yeah, all the time. I mean, I, I think they understand that uh, there's a target on their back, and um, and pe- teams will be – they'll be – we'll get everybody's best shot because of the numbers they put up last year. But this, this group doesn't usually run from that. Well, you're confident in this group. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that they're going to be prepared and go out and play the right way. I, you know, I, I really feel like they can get better and we can grow and do things with them. We can challenge them mentally. We've been able to throw more at them than you would typically do in a year you didn't have uh, spring practice, and they've, they've embraced all that. Anything different we'll see on, on special teams uh, today? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, we got you know some different returners back there with some guys gone, and I'm excited to see the guys that are blocking in front of them. I get a joy out of coaching the, the details of the ones not with the ball that all you guys are watching, the guy that's up there blocking somebody. Who's the guy in the lead to uh, follow Rodrigo Blankenship? Uh, you know, that that's one of those that's going to be right down to the wire. That's and, a game uh, timer too, huh? Absolutely. But uh, Pod's done a great job, and Zerk's done a good job too. Coach, thanks for your time. Much good luck today. We'll catch up with you after the ball game. Thanks. Go dogs. That's Coach Kirby Smart with us. The inside skinny from Coach Smart. George and Arkansas are coming up. And, Hondo, back to you for more of the Bulldogs Tailgate Show. All right. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Coach. And, indeed, they are coming up. Fewer than 36 minutes until we kick off. No need to pinch yourself. This dream is the real thing. Our dogs are back. We have more to come on the Bulldogs Sports Network. 
Dogs fans, download the all-new Georgia Football Digital Yearbook now at georgiadogs.com. Exclusive access to a season preview, player profile, UGA history, and more. It's completely free to access the Georgia Football Digital Yearbook at georgiadogs.com. Nothing kicks off your game better than a handful of Georgia peanuts. Power packed with protein, essential nutrients, and great taste. Georgia peanuts are the MVP for affordability, sustainability, and nutrition. To score life's touchdowns with recipes and fun facts, check out GAPeanuts.com. The perfectly powerful peanut is brought to you by the family farmers of the Georgia Peanut Commission. Peanuts! Get your peanuts! The official Georgia football game program has gone fully digital and is now free to access. The paperback game program is no longer offered, so log on to georgiadogs.com slash digital to get everything you need to know heading into this week's matchup against Arkansas. georgiadogs.com slash digital. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Hey, Bulldog fans, Coach Smart here. My friends at Georgia United Credit Union now offer Georgia Bulldogs Visa debit cards. Now you can show your team pride everywhere you go and spend. Pick your favorite design and score yours today. Georgia United makes banking easy, friendly, and smart for busy members like myself. Attack the day with a free checking account that pays big interest. It's the smart choice. Visit at gucu.org forward slash go dogs for important account information. Insured by NCUA, Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. I've spent so much time around my house lately, I've counted the number of bricks on my home. Neil Hondo Williamson here for my friends at Breda Pest Management. You know what I don't see in my yard? Fire ants or mosquitoes. As the official pest control of your Georgia Bulldogs, Breda Pest Management keeps my home bug and critter free. Let Breda protect your home like they protect Sanford Stadium. Breda Pest Management, B-R-E-D-A Pest.com. Breda, Breda, no need to be afraid of. to kick off. He goes down underneath Big George Davis Crush. You're listening to the Napa Auto Parts Tailgate Show. Play fake Harriet. Bootleg. Brom sets up all day to throw. Downfield. He's got Gager. 28, 20, 10, 5. Give him 6. Touchdown. Fun times beating Florida. But Jake Fromm is gone. And for the first time in a long time, Georgia will start someone new under center as we lift the lid on the 2020 campaign today. And let's be honest, we weren't sure if we'd even see the 2020 season. But we have dodged the COVID Reaper thus far. And our Bulldogs carry a six-game regular season winning streak into today's affair with the Razorbacks. Georgia leads the all-time series with Arkansas by a 10-4 margin. The two programs last met six years ago when the dogs prevailed in Little Rock in October of 2014. Today we square off here on campus in Fayetteville before a crowd that should cap out at around 18,000. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Napa Tailgate Show. Our engineer for today's show has been Tony Schiavone, assisted by Chris Schiavone. For Scott Howard, Lauren Smith, and Eric Zier, this is Neil Hondo Williamson. The Ford drive to kick off with Scott, Eric, and Chuck Dowdle is right around the corner. Quickly thereafter, our fourth-ranked Bulldogs pop the champagne cork on the 2020 season. Yes, friends, SEC football is back. I'll talk to you again at halftime. This is the Bulldogs Sports Network.